the college basketball experience preview and picks episode for thursday march 7th on the sports gambling podcast network is brought to you by cut cut is a peer-to-peer social betting platform that's u.s based and available in 40 different states head to cut.com that's k-u-t-t.com use that promo code sgpn for a 10 percent deposit bonus we're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Play their fantasy pickup for a chance to win 100 times the amount of money you can enter in NBA, NHL, college basketball, and much, much more. Sign up today using the promo code SGPN to get a 100% deposit match. We're also brought to you by Champs. Run your own March Madness pool and enter Champs free bra- uh, bracket contest for a chance to win $1,000. Go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash champs to enter today. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today, people. And remember, as always, folks, to let it ride. Hey, this is Eric Metcalf. You're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! Welcome. Welcome to the College Basketball Experience Preview and Picks Episode 4. Thursday, March 7th. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. The games today were fire. Shout out to the chat. They're rocking along. Let's see people say they're at the Razorback game. Uh, shout out to Simon. I haven't had a chance to check yet. I've been recording for... Fucking 10 hours, I feel like, Simon. Uh, I, see but it. I will check for it, brother. Uh, if you're wondering who the hell you're listening to, my name is Colby Swinging Database Dan, a.k.a. Pick Dundee. That's not a pick. This is a pick. He was raised in the land down under where a man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists, and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. And you're nothing but a chameleon, lemon-headed, coward, terrorist pussy. And I'm after you, buddy. You're going to pay for it. Good night. Woo! And how about that Razorback game? We'll get to it. I think we're having a pretty good night, if I had to guess. Haven't haven't talked uh, to Mac pre-episode, really. So what's up, dude? Let's, Let's fucking... Deliver the goods. <laughs> uh, I am joined by my co-host. You can watch this episode, folks. YouTube.com slash the college experience. Uh, give it up for former, former video coordinator for Hall of Fame coach Bob Huggins and Frank Martin, host of the Big 12 College Experience. Subscribe. Host of the Ryan and Rush Show. Subscribe. Give it up for Ryan McIntyre, a.k.a. Money Lon Mac. How you doing, brother? Oh, I'm doing good. Uh, yeah. R- good night. If Hawaii could come through here, it'd be a really good night. So let's go rainbows. Mac tonight. Come on, make it Mac tonight. Yes, yes, yes. The night uh, has been very good. Uh, some very surprising outcomes, I would say. Uh, and fun outcomes, too. Uh, currently, Hawaii has an 11-point lead over Northridge. We're both sweating out the Rainbow Warriors on the island, where it's always a hard ticket. Shout out to Curtis. In the chat, it says Dundee and Mac the goats. Let's say hey, I'll take that, take that all day. Uh, let's just jump right into it because you did lock this. I did not lock this, but Seton Hall 66, Villanova 56. The, 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 the pirates into this nice, nice handicap, yes, sir. Um. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Seton Hall was in control of the game. I know Nova got it to what, like three, maybe, yeah. uh, two or three. Um, fun watch, and uh, I mean, I was doing a show while all this shit was on, so unfortunately, I didn't get to watch a super close amount. It was on. Uh, your thoughts on this one? 
desperation spot for Seton Hall. They had to have this game because they don't have another chance on that resume um, with, with DePaul. I think this gets them in, basically. Noah talked about it. No, I think you were on this too, right? This was a double lock with Noah and I. So great win for Sheen Holloway. They went on one of those runs at the end of the first half, like they did against St. John's, um, like they did against Marquette and UConn, those home games, where they just go on these like 10, 15 0 runs where they you can't score on them. And that was the difference. And they held on. Noah? Yeah, I was on I was on Seton Hall with you. Uh, that was my only win tonight, both college basketball and baseball. Shit day, but it happens. It, it happens. See you tomorrow. Sometimes, <laughs> all right. See you guys tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> you know, sell that fucking painting behind you. Uh, hey, Greg, <laughs> appreciate you, buddy. Uh, send me a DM on on Twitter at the Colby D. Uh, with with your email address. Um. Uh, yeah, let's go. Um, and shout out to Clinton Smith saying big money, Mag and Dundee. Hey, uh, you two are the shit happy. I found your channel. Let's go. Um, and Makai says, uh, you know, you won me another three K today. There we go. We are Ooh, nice. You know, it's yeah. Glad, glad to help out and, uh, appreciate you. You, it, it, you know, takes two to tango, right? You guys watch <laughs> helps us. And uh, yeah, let's help go. us help you. Exactly, exactly. Um, didn't bet this game, but I did pick it correctly. Uh, Richmond minus four and a, four, four and a half cashes to anyone that took this one. Uh, stayed away because I thought this line stunk, but I yeah. did take Richmond. They got it done. Your thoughts. I know you, you, did you bet this game. You bet this game. Didn't you? I, yeah, I, yeah. I ate shit here. This, I had a good early window, but this one I did not, uh, shout out to the spiders. They, they win the a 10 Chris Mooney. They ain't going to be putting fucking, uh, billboards of the fire his ass now, baby. I wonder how they feel right now. Those pieces of shit. Um, stupid. He's done such a great job there. I mean, I, I know he hasn't won the league, but he's always in contention and he's at Richmond. I mean, he's, He's, he, he shares it with VCU, who's obviously always good. So great, uh, great year G- continues for the Spiders, and uh, yeah, congrats, unbelievable, dude! I did not see this coming. No, they were losing Burton were- to, to Villanova. Yeah, I was like, uh, give him another year or two, and uh, you know he'll have it back going. Woo, Chris Mooney. Um. Also, uh, wait, I don't know what the fuck number you got this at, but I didn't bet this. But Houston battles back after being down. They win by eight. What did you get this? Was it eight, eight and was a half. nine, eight right? And oh, half. Eight and a half. Yeah. 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 So, hey, you fucking hit with the, the very nice. gold Knights getting eight and a half. Um, yeah. What a fucking this was this was dicey for a little bit there. For a little bit it was a little dicey for Houston Cougar fans. Your thoughts on this one? Yeah, fuck. I mean, I I felt like I was the complete right side the entire night. I mean, and then all of a sudden Houston just they put the clamps down just like Iowa State did against UCF on Saturday. Houston and Iowa State just defensively can just suffocate you for 10 minutes at a time and uh but hey, you know what? The shiny knights have been a thorn in everybody's side down there at the bounce house. They, that's a hard place to go into. And uh, Houston's got a chance on Saturday to win it outright. They got the Jayhawks. So we'll see how that goes. Let's go. Shout out to Chad who gave us five bucks. Appreciate you. Um, YouTube.com slash the college experience. Um, yeah. Uh, next up. I should have bet this. It just stunk. I knew Loyola Chicago was going to beat Davidson. Oh, uh, I took Loyola, just didn't bet it as they won 69-59 against Davidson. Just thought the line stunk. Made me paranoid, right? Sometimes yeah. you believe in UFOs and all this crazy shit. Shout out to Knight Rider giving us $40. Been a while, fellas. Appreciate all the hard work. Won uh, some of your picks today, Dundee. Took it to the casino, won, and won a decent sum at the craps table. Then this dude's my fucking favorite. Shout out to Knight Rider. Um... Love that you took it to the craps table. Now we're fucking talking, buddy. Um, your thoughts on this game? Davidson stapled to the floor, warmed down. Davidson actually came out. Uh, Davidson was controlled the game for the first half, but they just got worn down with Loyola's athleticism. Davidson just, I, I, I took Davidson, but it's they're they're not any good, man. 
Yeah. And, uh, man, <laughs> you got fucking lucky with the fucking rice owls. You <laughs> sandbagging son of a bitch. Uh, lock no. battle win. Rice <laughs> covers the seven, seven and a half, whatever it was. They, w- they lose by five to Charlotte. Yeah. Charlotte had what I, I, I mean, granted, I was doing a podcast, so I couldn't pay, pay close detail, but I had it on the quad box. Charlotte had like a 13, 14 point lead in this game. That's I feel like what? 10 minutes left, 10 minutes left in the game. Yeah. I don't know. And then they almost lost it. It was like, it was, it was wild. Yeah. So uh, good win. Charlotte got a good bounce back, but yeah, they almost pissed this game completely away. And then I, you know, I must apologize to actually, I shouldn't really apologize to the fucking uh, people. But I did somehow miss this game last night. <laughs> you start drinking, you're going through the games. St. Bonaventure, George Washington, we did not talk about. My apologies. But that's why you have the picks page to back you up, because I took George Washington. The Colonials got it done as dogs uh, against the bodies, one by 11. Bonnie's on the road. You always like to fade them. What'd you do here? I think I took the Bonnie's just because I was not... I, I was not going to take George Washington. That was their first win since fucking like Martin Luther King Day. They had not once in so yeah, it was that Monday Monday afternoon game against Mason on Martin Luther King Day. So yeah, unbelievable, that unbelievable, is pathetic, Bonnie's. God yeah. damn, Bonnie's on the road is always iffy. It's yeah. always a gamble. Agreed. Um, then do we lock this? Do I mean, did yeah. we battle this George Mason in Rhode Island? I don't think we did, right? We thought no, we I, I potentially just, doing it. Yeah. I, I think we both stayed away. Um, I didn't actually bet this game, so I, I hope we didn't lock that on the on the show last night. 69-51. Uh, George Mason gets it done against Rhode Island. I, I told you I was weary on the bets to start the slate yesterday. I didn't bet anything really except for that Charlotte game. Uh shout out to Mason. Uh it's been a great first year for Tony Skinner. I know they still have a, a game, but uh, 19 and 11? Gotta like that, man. Oh, yeah. Um, We did double lock Arkansas, though. Boom! This one felt good. Razorbacks by 11 against LSU. Getting it done. How does the soundboard sound to you? Do you hear that, or is that very loud? Um, it's not as loud as last night. Last night was the opposite. The soundboard was loud and then you weren't loud, but it's, I mean, it's all right. I don't, why well, somebody I've been, un- I, I've been unplugging everything. Oh fucking, yeah. I've been trying to f- sniff out this fucking problem. Um, yeah. So Razorbacks hit for his double lock. Uh, Boston college. Nice play. I know we didn't bet this, but Boston college wins by 10 at Miami. Only scores 57 points at home. Larinaga is done. That job's going to be open. Now, Jobs, I got to be open, right? I didn't watch this game, but I saw that that pack and in, in, in um, Poplar both played, and they still lost to Boston College. Well, I would say the more alarming thing is you only put up fifty-seven points. Yeah, they're they're fight. They've quit. That that's yeah. a joke. That's crazy to go to yeah. the Final Four one year and bring back a lot. I know they lost a couple guys, but they brought back a lot. NIL. This is uh, the first experiment there with the NIL thing. Uh, we also ate shit on Michigan State. They did they hold Northwestern to 49 points, but they almost lost this game. And uh, <laughs> horrible. This is a bad, bad play by us. Your thoughts? Yeah, they never had a chance to cover, to be honest. They should have lost the game. They scored 20 points in the first half. Asleep at the wheel, but you got to give them credit. Um they found a way to win the game that they had to win. So Izzo, senior night, um, it was emotional. They they found a way to win. I was talking about this on the SGP show. Let's say JMU goes to the Sun Belt Championship and loses to App State. You ask if JMU or Sparty's in? So JMU's record right now is what? It's something incredible, right? The best record in the nation, I believe, right now. 28 and 3. So, how many games do they have to win to get to the tournament? Two or three? The championship, I'm saying. Uh, not the tournament. The championship. In my opinion, uh, or what What do they actually have to do? N- no, no, no. I'm saying, like, how many champion? How many games before the, the, the Sun Belt Championship game? Did they play two or three? Two, I think, right? Uh, I don't two. have, I don't yeah, have the yeah, bracket. Two, 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 yep. 
Um, so that would put them at 30 and three, correct? Yep. So let's just say. And they'll get left out. They lose to Appalachian State in overtime, you know, and they're 30 and four. And Michigan State makes it. What what is the, what is their record right now? It's, it's they're like shit. sixteen and third or uh, eighteen and thirteen now. Yeah, eighteen, 18 and 12. 18 and twelve. But they have home, home um, They have at Indiana. Let's say they lose at Indiana, right? Let's say they're eighteen and thirteen, and they win one game in the in the Big Ten tournament, and they lose the second. So nineteen and fourteen. I'm sorry, but if Michigan State goes in over James Madison, when James Madison beat them head to head in East Lansing, get the fuck out of here. And I know I'm throwing a bunch of hypotheticals out there. It's going to happen, though. <laughs> this is going to be, I know it is, because the Big Ten and SEC have all the power. If that happens, when you have an outright game to look at, it's, uh, be ready. Be ready. Because I'm, 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 I'm going to talk for an hour on that fucking situation. Um, Anyway, I hope, yeah, I hope JMU just wins the tournament and doesn't leave it up. But I, I, I don't think they're going to get in. Unfortunately, they're going to be like what? Uh, Drake they would still have the best record in the nation. That's the I irony. Know. I know. Like assuming, like what? What is how many? How many losses does UConn have? Four. Uh, UConn, Purdue, and Houston all have three. McNeese too. McNeese, yeah. Ooh, McNeese would would maybe. So they said they have the best record or the second best record, right? <laughs> yeah, they should be. They should get in. I agree. That, I, I almost think they should have something where, like, you win that many games, you should automatically be in. Automatically be in. What's, um, their, uh, what, what's their net? Just out of curiosity, fifty-two. I mean, that's uh, that's that's right on the bubble, I guess, technically. But I mean, they did everything they could in the non-con. They 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 went they to East beat Lansing. Michigan State. Yeah, like, it shouldn't it shouldn't be for fucking debate. It's like we can look at this. One team is thirty and fucking three. But Maybe anyway, Kent stayed on the yeah. road too. Yeah. Um. Anyway, they'll put Virginia in. Yeah, Virginia <laughs> will get in there. Oh, they won the championship. Um. Okay, so Tennessee was certainly the right side of like Tennessee deserves to win this game today. Not going to argue that. But damn it, South Carolina had it down to three. Minute and 10 seconds left. Michi Johnson drives in the lane. I thought he got fouled. I thought it was a clear block that ended up being a loose ball recovery by Tennessee. And they go down and they, I mean, they get fouled because the situation. I was really disappointed by the announcers not calling it out for a, for a block. And I'll say this, the very next possession, the uh, South Carolina shoots a three. They try to get the foul. Um, I'm completely okay with the no call on the, the three where you go out of your way to fucking bang yeah. into the defender. But I thought that Michi Johnson play was horse shit. And I thought I would have cut and I should have covered. Uh, uh, that was it. If you get it down to one right there, if you're shooting two or, you know, makes one of two even, I think we're good for the cover. That was a critical moment in the game because it's a three point game. It can go to one. And then you, you for that to be a turnover, then you foul. Fucking brutal. Shout out to Tennessee. Tennessee looked good, especially the first half. They looked great the first half. Um, How good is Dalton uh, Connect? Oh my the God. fact that he was in the big sky. He's so fucking good. <laughs> if he's open, it's going in. Yeah. I, like he just, they just kept leaving him open. Like, how the fuck I'm like, did oh everyone whiff on him, man? It's, it's, I don't know. I, it, I understand the point the other day. Someone in the chat saying it sucks to see him at Tennessee when Northern Colorado developed and, found him and i i get it yeah it really does when i think about it but man it's crazy that all these other schools didn't didn't uh i wonder i i would love to know behind the scenes what happened there and what schools offered which ones didn't um but i i I really thought and there's another thing south carolina got a dunk that was ruled (laughs) not a dunk so with like a half a second left and and i i I think the refs got it right personally they reviewed it (laughs) Oh, did they? Yeah, they reviewed it. I think they I, got it right. Was I, I, I was laughing my ass off. I go, yeah. why would they even review that? Because they just they know it it it, uh, it impacts so many people. 
Because <laughs> the announcers man. are like, I don't know if that counted or not. And it's like, in the grand scheme of things, who cares? Tennessee won the game, but it's like, all right, let's go over the monitor to check because uh, the line's five and a half and it would be seven or five. But you know the play I'm talking about. Michi Johnson drives to the lane. Yeah, he probably, it was it was a foul. The, the guy is, cause he's not set. So it's either one or the other. Like, I thought, like, that's a block because he's not set to just not blow the whistle at all. I thought it was cheap. But anyway, shout out to the Vols. That's a physical ass game. That was a physical game. Yeah. They were letting him play a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I'll tell you what, man. T- Tennessee, you, it, it opens up your eyes when a team goes on the road like that this late in the year and gets a win. Purdue last night, row. Tennessee. Two yeah. Yeah. Two Purdue and Tennessee, Tennessee yeah. the last couple nights. And obviously, Tennessee at Bama. I mean, I know they. I know both those teams and those coaches have reputations of choking, but you gotta you gotta tip your cap and say, "Well done, way to get it done on the road to win to win your league outright." Yeah, yeah, Noah, your thoughts on this one, buddy? Yeah, I'm. I'm just adding input on the uh, transfer portal uh, topic that you slightly mentioned here for a little bit on connect. Uh, you know, it's a two way street in the transfer portal. Uh, a lot of the mid-majors get the cast-offs from the high-majors, where the high-majors grab the four or the five-star uh, from the gr- recruiting trail that the, the mid-majors couldn't grab. But, but he didn't play much at the high-major, and now the mid-major has a real weapon. Uh, you see that all over the country. Um, and they also do the same things to the JUCOs. They take some of the best JUCO guys, um, kind of like how the high majors take the best mid major guys. It's it's all just a food yeah. chain. Man. But but honestly, watching Northern Colorado out at the end. Watching Northern Colorado this year, they were a pretty damn good team in the big in the big sky. And you're like, man, they had him. Imagine Ooh. if he, they win yeah. the big sky yeah. if they have him. Yeah. There was also a guy before Connect too that was also solid. I remember I him. What yeah, was his name? Again? Yeah, I'm he was a stud. Right now yeah, because the white kid there was he, yeah, he was yeah, he, he was the connect before beast. the connect. Yeah, it yeah. was like two years ago. I'm pulling it up right now. Kuntz. yes, uh, yeah, yes, Kuntz. yes, Kuntz, We so, like to stay here on this show. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, when they when when, when they were both on the team in 2022, they were 22 and 16. Oh man, I mean, it's just got. Not I get enough your balls point. to go around. I get, I get your point. <laughs> Last year they were on the same team too. 2023. They were 12 and 20. I get your point, but also there's something where you think of like, take for example, uh, you know, Steph Curry's run at Davidson. He wouldn't have been at Davidson that year. You know, like remember he went to the elite eight that March Madness was fucking insane. Yeah. He would have transferred out. So there is something, there is something that sucks about it, but they lose a can't, they lost a Kansas, right? Yeah. But they got they deep. Should have won. Yeah. They yeah. Won. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was a very fun, fun watch. And I, I, I think now it's very, very rare that you're going to have that. May, I know that a lot of mid majors have made the final four lately. So that's clearly, uh, proof that, that I'm, I'm, I'm wrong in this area, but I would, I would just say, it's going to be interesting to watch moving forward as, as the divide becomes bigger. I, I mean, like you, you also look around, the college sports landscape as well. Um, college football, you had TCU come out of nowhere in year one under Sonny Dykes. Cincinnati was also a college football playoff team. Oral Roberts got to the College World Series. They were two games away from playing in the finals. Like, that's all three of the major men's sports. I can't – I'm not going to speak on the women's top sports, but I know Oklahoma softball – hammers the tra- transfer portal and they had an undefeated season last year um it, it's a two-way street i i truly believe but i just that. wonder right now i don't think the divide is there as much as it's going to be say five years from now yeah when when like rutgers what's that new tv deal they're going to be making <laughs> what every year it's something insane they're going to be they're going to make like a hundred million dollars more it's then it's than, interesting than like oklahoma state let alone Davidson think about the, the or something like that you know it's um, interesting because you know Rutgers so <laughs> for the longest time they're in New York you know they really they don't have a couple of big wins in the tr- recruiting trail and all of a sudden the light bulb turns on this year and they've got number one and number two 
um, and Ace Bailey and uh, the younger brother of Harper, like those top two recruits are now coming to Rutgers. Like Rutgers would not normally get those kind never, of blue chips. Never. Access so. gives you that. And that, I think that's what, you know, getting to that, le- you know, Rutgers, when I say getting to that level, Rutgers got lucky as fuck because they were shit in football and basketball. It was <laughs> it was back when the cable market mattered and the Big Ten was like, hey, the cable market, we can get into Maryland and New York City. And that had nothing to do with it. Besides, you know, I think they also like the fact that Rutgers, you know, played the first ever college football game. So they're like, hey, we can own that too. Um, but anyway, let's continue on this journey because we did have a lock battle. And TCU had to had to do it. Had to get that first win in Morgantown. I didn't watch this game. I know you did. What happened? Oh, yeah, I watched. TCU made 10 threes in the first half and they never make threes. And I go, what the fuck? I, I, I wanted to turn it off. I'm ready for the season to be over in terms of West Virginia. Terrible. They fought back, got it, I think, to 10 or whatever, but you can't go down 25. Hey, you're not gonna you're not gonna win many games doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Um so my night took it took a turn for the better right here because the NEC happened. <laughs> we rolled in the NEC today. Oh, man. the fucking Long Island shucks. Let me tell you. It was worth the money line sprinkle, even though it burned me. But I took a bigger bet on the points. The shucks only lose by six to Mary Mac. Double lock hits. Dude, I thought they were sweating a little bit down the stretch. Like five minutes, I was like, "Yeah, oh, man, don't let the fucking shark steal this. <laughs> uh, your thoughts on this one as Mary Mac moves to the next uh, moves on. Yeah, man, I I, I thought they were going to fucking steal this game for a minute there. I'm like, oh, my God, are we going to get LIU and St. Francis to pull the upsets? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, uh, LIU. They got they've had or they had talent. The season's over. Um, they just never could put it together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you hit on it. We did also cash double lock on St. Francis, the Red Flash, getting it done against the real Blue Devils. Oh, another another double lock. Lemoyne gets it done against Fairly Dickinson. Easy, Boom. Be easy. Uh. And then, and then, unfortunately, I didn't bet this game, but I did have a future on Sacred Heart that went fucking burning to the ground as the vacuum company upsets fucking Sacred Heart 60 Crazy. to 57. I uh, did not see that one coming, but I, I, I still didn't feel good enough to lay the points with, with Sacred Heart. I thought, you know, it's the NEC. It's the NEC. So, I mean, each game's a roller coaster, but uh, I'm still surprised Wagner won the game especially because I thought Sacred Heart had potential to go dancing. Your thoughts? I did, yeah. I mean, I, I, I've liked Sacred Heart, veteran group. Uh, disappointed that the year year's over for them. So, um, But, yeah, I mean, they – the vacuum company, we talked about it. We, we wanted to take Sacred Heart, but we were scared off this. We were scared off this. This was a spot that kind of yeah. scared us. So this is the only game we didn't bet, and glad we didn't. Yeah. Uh, we should have bet Fordham getting nine and a half because we knew. Well, I'm not trying to play the music. Uh, we knew they would give the give UMass a game. I, I, I think we even said UMass wins by four. Yeah. Uh, well, no, we were off. UMass only won by two. Fordham covered. We were both on it, but didn't bet it. Nice win for UMass and uh, win number twenty. It's a good go. year. It's a good let's year go. for Frank. Uh. We both double locked the Butler Bulldogs against Xavier. Easy. Easy peasy. Let's go. It's a free show. I don't know if you guys know this. It's, 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 it's a free show. Um, YouTube.com slash the college experience. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. I see 400 motherfuckers in here right now. Let's do it. Um, uh, we also, uh, Southern Indiana pissed in our face. Tennessee State won by 14. Bad play. Just, uh, I like the angle, though. They're, they have nothing to lose. Yeah. They can't go to the dance. We ate shit here, though. Your thoughts? We did. We ate shit on, I ate shit at least on both OVC games. Uh, yeah, tough night for the Screaming Eagles. Rest in peace for our Screaming Eagles for the 23-24 season. And Lamar against Houston Christian. 
I don't even remember who the fuck. I didn't bet this. There the fuck did I, I, I think I laid the points. <laughs> I did not uh, touch this game. <laughs> yeah. Didn't bet that. And then <laughs> another lock battle. And God damn it, we should have won. I thought you were going to blow we the We should have won. <laughs> we should have won. But I'll still, we, we did win if you bet on it. Because ECU gets it done in Dallas. Felton went for like 30. Uh, what'd you make of this one? Uh, ECU should have won the game outright. I mean, SMU had to hit a fucking three to force overtime. And when it went to overtime, I'm like, watch this. SMU is going to pull away and win by like 15. Um, but I could cover for ECU. Uh, they, but they should have won the game. They led the entire, they led, they led the entire game. Yes. 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 I'm not with shorts, man. I don't like a Rick Barnes guy. You know what I mean? All right. So <laughs> give me someone else. Let's go. I, I like the clip, the shorts. May the shorts be with you. That's about it. Um, McNeese destroys New Orleans. Uh, didn't bet that, but got that correct. We had another lock battle, buddy. We were doing battle. And uh, the Owls came through for me yeah. in Denton. 80 to 76. Shout out to the biggest scumbag in the chat giving us five bucks saying Shocks lose three, uh, 30,000 teeth in their life. Anyone fading Shocks lost the same, you cowards. Thanks for a good year, fucking Long Island Shocks. Let's go. Uh, your thoughts on, on FAU getting it done against North Texas? Yeah, they, I I I thought I thought North Texas was going to grind their way back into it, but at this FAU showed up. FAU finally came out of a game and, and hit somebody in the mouth rather than get hit in the mouth. They went up nine nothing. Then it was back and forth the entire way, but FAU makes enough plays down the stretch. That was that was a good win, man. They got Memphis on deck, so can't wait for that game this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I know we differed here, but we didn't bet. Radford took care of business against Upstate, laid the four and a half, and they move on. Uh-oh. Watch Uh-oh. out, High Point. Uh-oh, yes. Go, the Highlanders. Baby. Go, baby. Let's go, man. Highlanders. And then shout out to my guy, Terrell Furman Jr., who texted me. Very upset about Marquette not covering. <sighs> um, I didn't watch the game. I didn't catch the game. So uh, UConn wins right by seven. Though. What happened here? UConn controlled the game, but Marquette made a hell of a run at the end of the game, got it to five with a minute left, had the ball multiple times down five, and even missed a shot at the buzzer down seven. Um, Could have easily covered. I knew this game was going to come right down to the number. I, th- I, thought, I thought Marquette was going to have a chance to win it. Um, I know, I know somebody in the chat was at, killing us for our Marquette pick. Dude, they had the ball down five. I didn't bet this Multiple times. Oh, I did. Yeah. 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 Um, it, it, there, there's times to kill somebody for a pick. They had the ball down five multiple times under the it, under uh, under a minute. It was not, it was not a horrible pick. It, the game came right down to the wire. They missed a shot at the buzzer to cover. Uh, good win, UConn, uh, to get out of there alive. Yeah, I didn't bet that game, and, you know, I almost bet this game, and I regret not doing it because Corpus Christi drilled Incarnate Word by 19. They fucking, man, we should have covered this. Should have covered this. Uh, I mean, we should have bet this. We did cover this. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, folks, I want to tell you, the college basketball experience is brought to you by Cut. Cut is a peer-to-peer social betting platform that's U.S.-based and available in 40 different states. P2P social betting is a new and better way to bet. Bet directly against your friends or other users on sports, politics, pop culture, and other events with verifiable outcomes, plus a ton of fun social features that give it a feel of a betting social network, so to speak. Uh, Cut offers lower VIG and fully customizable odds. You can create your own bets, and we have created our own bet. Uh, Starting, I believe, on Sunday. Noah, correct? Monday. No, okay, Monday. Monday to Sunday, starting next week, Monday to Sunday. We have set the over under at one and a half buzzer beaters, right? But it has to be a game ender. It can't be a buzzer beater to send it to overtime. It can't be a buzzer beater with one on the clock or 0.6 on the clock. One and a half buzzer beaters. Get on over to cut and bet us. 
Sports Gambling Podcast. Is that under Sports Gambling Podcast or TCE? I don't, I don't know what we put it under. It's a good question. I think it's probably Sports Gambling Podcast. Yeah. But Mac and I created the prop. So, yeah. So yeah. jump on over there, promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. And uh, yeah, check out Cut. Cut's fantastic. It, it's it's cool. They got group chats, leaderboards, head to head history, user profiles, fan groups, and much much more. We're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Look, Underdog Fantasy is the easiest place to play fantasy sports. It's also the fastest growing fantasy app in the industry. Uh, pick whether your favorite player will have a higher or lower stat total in this week's game for a chance to win big. You can win up to 100 times the amount of money you enter in a single night. So what are you doing? Pick between two and five players and build a pick em entry. Uh, sign up today with the promo code SGPN and get your first deposit doubled up to, up to $100 as well as an instant pick em special. Visit underdogfantasy.com. Find them in the App Store. And don't forget to register with the promo code SGPN to get your first deposit doubled up to $100 as well as an instant pick em special over at Underdog Fantasy with the promo code TCE SGPN. Do we got any plays? Uh, you like anything, Noah? Yeah, so I wrote down two because uh, I'm not running the article. Shout out to Cannabis Capper. Uh, so you can take my two plays and just play them uh, in an underdog uh, pick them entry uh, just with those two. Or you can go over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com, check out Capper's article, uh, and have a five pick entry on underdog fantasy. But uh, my two for today, I'm taking you to Max Klesman of Wisconsin. Uh, lower than 13 and a half points and assists. This is eight and three in his last 11 games. They're playing against Rutgers. I'm expecting kind of just a slug fest, uh, knockdown, drag it out kind of game. Low scoring 60s, maybe even in the 50s, kind of uh, Big Ten basketball game. So lower than 13 and a half points and assists on Klesman. And then Colorado's KJ Simpson, he's been on absolute tear so far uh, or beast. recently. Absolute beast. I'm taking his higher than 24 and a half points and assists. This is hitting four straight games. And listen to this. The projection is currently set at 24 and a half. In his last four games, he's averaging 32.2 points and assists. It's absolutely insane. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to ride the hot hand there with Simpson. Higher than 24 and a half points and assists. And then Klesman, lower than 13 and a half points and assists. There you go. Underdog Fantasy promo code TCE SGPN. All right, we are back on the college basketball experience. Antonio Downing saying, how did you not catch the biggest game of the day? Uh, I do a show called the College Football Experience that records every day at Wednesday uh, or every week at Wednesday. Um, I can't fucking talk because I've talked on the mic for like 10 hours a day. But uh, also, I only have it here because I'm not in the studio. The setup is not as good because I have a son. And I also did not have the desire to watch that game because I didn't have money on it. Also, I knew Tyler Kulik wasn't playing. I mean, obviously, it's a great game still, but I had other shit I had to do. That's how that happens. Um, I also think with no Tyler Kulik, it kind of ruined a little bit of the game for me. So, um, anyway, moving along, we somehow... A little bit of the excitement, I guess. Yeah, the- yeah. I, I, wasn't that, I wasn't that excited to watch it as I would have been. If Tyler Kulik plays, I watch that game. Um, we got very fortunate Northwestern state plus three and a half did cash in triple overtime as they still lost to Texas A&M conference. You can't lose to Texas A&M conference. Nice hit for us. And I know we played the money line too. So, eh. but still your thoughts on this one, dude, I, I miss, I missed the end of this because I thought they won the game. They, I, so the, something happened with the ESPN plus stream and they were up three with 30 seconds. And I just assumed they won. And then I look back and they were in double overtime. I'm like, Oh fuck, we're going to get screwed on this. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Northwestern state for at least uh, covering this, but they gave this game away. They should have won this game out. Right. Gave yeah. it away. And then I gave out two plays that I thought were the best plays of the day. One of them was Iowa State that I thought was the clear easiest. They uh, they were losing a lot of the game, right? I mean, I had this on on the TV. They were losing 11 by, I think, 11 at halftime. Yeah, I had this one on. This one I was more excited to watch because obviously I had money on it, but also, uh, you know, 
Uh, but I was a bit baffled early on when BYU was kicking their ass. Your thoughts on this one, Mac? Rise and shout. The Cougs were out early. They made they made those threes early. Uh, I think they had seven or eight at halftime. But just like they did at Texas Tech, Baylor, and what was the other one? There was another. There was another game they collapsed on the road at. They they're so reliant on the three at times. Um, that they finally wore down in the second half. I thought I honestly, I thought we were going to cover because that should have been an and one on fucking Robert Jones's put back. I don't know how the fuck you say it was on the floor when he, when he catches it and puts it back. But um, that crew was awful tonight too, by the way. But um, I would say it loses this game in the past. That would, I mean, that was, that was a gritty win. They did not play well. They played horrible tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, didn't BYU hit is Creighton. That's who BYU is. The more and more I watch BYU, they're Creighton. They are. They are, huh? They they're very similar to me. They're yeah. Very similar. Yeah. They have a big man um, that can freaking pass and, and shoot, and a bunch of shooters around them. So yeah, BYU is Creighton. Now I did say if I had a second one, that Texas A and M was the second favorite play, and that was a double lock by both of us. That came through true. As they won 75 69, Mississippi State's complete ass on the road. So at least we got that one done. They tried to give this away. They were 23 in the second half. No, man. Um, Fucking bitches. Yeah, Mississippi State, in, uh, they got work to do. NIT, NIT, NIT. Yeah. Uh, lock battle. You, well, I'm not, I hate Minnesota. I fucking hate it. <laughs> yes, finally like, they came back. I told you this yesterday. Yes. So, folks, behind the scenes, Behind the scenes, uh, me and Mac are talking pre-episode yesterday. And I go, you know, I was looking, you know, we use this this website, Tally Site, to make all of our picks. And I'm like, you can look at your stats for each team. <laughs> I don't do it that often, but I just was going down a rabbit hole. And I was like, man, I'm fucking horrible. I'm taking Minnesota this year. And I go, maybe they're just better than I think they are. What do I do? I fucking finally lock up Minnesota. They get drilled. By the Hoosiers. <laughs> Murphy's Law. Um, your thoughts on this one? They got killed. I, but th- this was coming for a long time. They, we've been talking about it. How they, they're not as good as the record. They suck. They, they got beat by suck. Missouri at home. Anybody that gets here. beat by Missouri at yeah. home is not good. Cough, cough, pit. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it's. I, I, at some point, they were going to come back to reality. Honestly, Ben Johnson has done a great job this year. That team has overperformed what we thought in year number three. Noah, Big Ten Specialist, your thoughts? Yeah, I'm going to tip my cap to Mike Woodson. Congrats on keeping your job, buddy. Oh, yeah. Congrats on keeping your job. I knew they were going to win when I saw that. I go, oh, this is a get-up spot. Get-up spot. Oh, my God. Wait, (laughs) wait. I I did see that they renewed him before the game, by the way. I saw that. They're going to win the Big Ten tourney now. Oh my God! What are they doing? Do they, they realize win Dusty Big May Ten is there? <laughs> they are hot right now. What have they won? Three in a row. They have. I think they have uh, two or yeah, three. They won back to back road games. They won at Maryland. They won at Minnesota. And they beat uh, Wisconsin. <laughs> they're they're dropping the ball. I mean, they must not be one hundred percent sold and dusty. Uh, you know, thirty. What was it? A thirty-one and three regular season. Yeah. Thirty-four and four year last year he comes a little bit back down to earth with fau this year as they took a step up in conference slightly but i mean i would prefer uh you know dusty oh yeah no doubt mike woodson without tjd when he goes to ohio state kicks her ass or be kicking their feet hey go to that one comment uh homie tunes or whatever homie tunes yeah homie tunes. Okay. you what hear you this mean? if you hear this <laughs> We are betting it every once in a while. God damn, man. Every once in a Max while. Max on like 40 fucking change. games a night. So but it is I hard tweet to out every Max single I tweet night. out every single <laughs> pick. I record it on the <laughs> picks page. I have not missed a day on the twi- on Twitter, X, whatever the fuck it's called now, and the picks page. Don't come at me with you don't fucking let us know what the <laughs> fuck you're betting. Get the fuck out of here. I've been doing this since November 6th. It's March 7th now. Yeah, and and I mean, I would say ninety nine point nine. If something changes, like an injury or something, is the only yeah. time 
you know, we don't pull the plug on something or, you know, 99% of the times, everything we lock up on the show is, is what we bet. Yes. Is there examples? I know someone will bring up the other day, uh, the UMass Lowell thing that that was one example that I did not bet UMass Lowell, but I'm saying for the most part, for the most part, the shit is accurate on, on what we bet. I, I think, I think homie tunes is talking about the picks page. He's like, say put a money bag instead of a lock. No, Mac is really just a maniac and he locks about four. I like volume. Night, so. I, that's yeah. I like volume. That's, that's my strategy. Because yeah. no, I, think I, I, so I believe much- in that. Yeah, there's so much. I mean, look at the the records are down. Yeah, I mean, I'm down at the bottom of the page. Yeah, I did the math. I'm up 40, 50 units. I don't even know what 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 the unit size is, what I'm up. But um, I just also believe in the variance of there's so many bad beats that if you believe in your angle and your side, you're going to come out 54, 55% of it at least. and, And you'll be in the green at the end of the year. There's so many bad beats that come across this where if you just bet three games a night, if that's what you do, hey man, that's what you do. But for me, I like I like more volume. No, I think that's the smarter thing is like, you know, I understand people that complain about that and say, Well, you know, I don't have enough money to throw down or or I don't like to throw down. Maybe you do have the money, that's, you just don't want to do it. But that's me. Like I I I think I portray to that crowd well. Yeah. I like to have a little bit of analysis when I place a pick. And I don't spray the entire board like these guys do. So, but that's I why mean, we've that's why we've added the or what's our top play, you know, or our top yeah, two yeah. plays. You yeah. know, we try it's, to accommodate. Which that's play. a gift and a curse. Like we've talked about that on the show. Yeah, like, exactly. Before. Where so. you could have a great night and you miss your play of the day, and everybody's like, "You suck." It's like, well, no, yeah. actually, I was yeah. fucking fifteen and five. I'm sorry, I missed the big, the big one. I've I been mean, doing like, this. I've been doing this seven years. Yeah. And we've, I've never had a losing season on, 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 on locks, you know Basketball, what I mean? Think, and football. Yeah. And to me it's, but you have to, I do fully believe that you have to bet enough because like you said, the bad beats, you know, it happens all the time. I, I thought Charlotte should have covered tonight. You know what I mean? Like there's certain games where you're just like, that's going to happen, but that's why you have to spray. You have to spray the board, uh, the board enough, in my opinion, where you're okay. If you lose, a little bit here or there. Cause uh, sometimes it'll happen the reverse way, you know, like Iowa state probably shouldn't have covered it. They almost covered, yeah. you know what I mean? So, um, I, I like, think so. I, I'm just speaking for myself. Like I've made my financial situation known on this show before. And Hey, it's March. We're getting a lot more listeners. Like I said, just a, a minute ago, I think I portrayed to the people that don't want to bet a ton of games. Cause one, I still got, student loans up my ass and this is actually my only job right now is sgpn it pays the bills enough and i am working with them eight eight hours ish a day i do this show for two hours at home when my wi-fi is ass i'm up two hours more till like five in the morning um and i i throw around you know a hundred bucks on the night and I'll spray it on two to three to four bets uh, in college basketball. And then I bet college baseball too. That's typically how I do it. So, yeah, to me, you have to like, and I get it. If you don't have that much money, I understand. Like if you, if, I mean, I get it, you know, but at the same time, like to me, if you do have the money and you want to make money at this, I feel like you have to stay betting a decent amount of games every night because if you just pick choose two or three i just feel like your variance more times over not now i i still think if uh, that, that we should track that next year is our best play of the night and see what our record is well i mean shit like game. that's that's yeah. my picks page right now yeah like if you go and look at my picks page I, there there's been like maybe three to four days that i can count on my notebook because i write all these shit all this shit down three or four days where i bet more than 10 games uh, uh, and that's like a Saturday when I was dragged onto the show by Mac. <laughs> hold on. I want to address this justice in the chat says, uh, I wish y'all would please give an opinion on it over and, and unders. See, I, I really We'd don't be here like for six hours every night. Yeah. Well, also <laughs> yeah. like to me, to me, 
sometimes it's only like I don't I don't feel very good betting over unders for the most part unless it's the, it's way off to me. Sometimes it's way off to me, but I don't I don't normally fuck with that that often. Like games can go to overtime, you know. Like I just I I just don't really prefer, especially with basketball with football. When- I, I I'm I'm much more inclined to bet over unders in, in in football than basketball. Now I still I still dabble in basketball. Sometimes it was the other night, you know, I jumped on what was it the uh, the Florida a- Alabama over. I was like that this this shit's gonna fly over. Um, but yeah. Anyway, when gonna... uh, I so me personally with totals at college basketball is nonstop. It's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and on Saturdays one hundred and fifty games a day me personally i don't even need to really get into the totals market to find bets i'm able to find the sides because i know the teams i feel like a little bit more than teams tempos and uh you know tendencies against other defenses because that's usually what you have to know uh with totals however when we get into march madness last year i was sprinkling in totals under the show and I will again because you just have more time to handicap all the games, and yeah. I, there's less games to bet, so there's more bets. Totals that though, numbers can be so skewed. Like I, I go on a lot of shows as a guest, and they ask me, they'll tell me ahead of time to to, to do the totals, right? Like the, we're going to talk total in this game or this game, and I'll do my homework on it, but I still never feel fucking, you know great about it just oh yeah detroit's detroit's uh getting you know oh but the, you know they didn't have t- these two guys for their whole fucking season so their numbers are all fucking skewed to me you know what i mean like um i don't know i just find it much more risky like as far as like i don't know i just don't feel as comfortable with with the bets for the most part on totals um for me and- like i i even gave out the uh, wisconsin max klesman uh play today and i talked about my hypothesis on how the game's going to go i think it's going to be a, a slow slugfest but the books think that as well like that's a low total game so i don't think i have an edge there against them and yeah. then i went to the prop that i i feel like suits me so yeah if you like totals i'll, I'll plug our guy hoops peterson's the guy for totals yeah He's, he, he's fucking great at totals. He loves uh, totals. And you see us on hoops all the time. Uh, yeah. In fact, I'll be on tomorrow uh, with, with hoops. But uh, anyway, let's uh, let's continue talking uh, because we did lock up. Double lock Vanderbilt. And we hit. Vandy Bandy. Vandy getting it done in Lexington covering for us. We've been our team lately. Well, they're catching like 18. Yeah, every game. we've been our team lately, man. <laughs> Uh, Stackhouse knows the numbers. Stackhouse is just fucking trying to make some money. He goes, I, I'd be unemployed. I might as well cover. <laughs> um, Utah State drilled San Jose State. So Utah State. Yeah, me, yeah. They're in the mix there. They Huge won the Mountain West. Yeah. They, they, at least a share of it, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a, that's, dude, that's a fucking hell that's of a year. Amazing. They, they didn't have anybody return. Zero players on the roster. I know. That That's an example of the portal. No, yeah. that would help. Like I, I know the Mountain West is awesome this year, but I'm saying they are still considered a mid-major. If you go to like, if you talk Mountain West, people think that's a mid-major. Um, it's probably a team we want to fade in the dance, unfortunately. Potentially, they've but, yeah. they 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 they've really overachieved. I, I they're good. I don't think they're as good as some of the other Mountain West teams. They just also have a unbelievable home court advantage. That is that is very that, hel- that helps a that lot. That is very true. Yeah. yeah. Um it helps a lot, but they've done well on the road this year. They too. have that, yeah, they have. Uh, I need to see a bracket before I say. Yeah, for sure. And for what it's worth, Sprinkle's been an all right tournament coach, too. Like he's they almost be given K-State some last year. Yeah, yeah, he's been given some high seeds some fits. Yeah, I don't know if he's ever pulled off the W. But Michigan had their hands full with a sprinkle team not too long ago, and Kansas State last year had their hands full. And that line smelled like shit going back. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I've gone back and listened to a couple of the, uh, the March Madness shows just to kind of get into the groove of what we're going to be facing here in a couple days. But, yeah, that line smelled like shit last year. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Uh, I know we differed on this one. I don't know if you bet this. I did not, but I took SIU Edwardsville. They got it done. The home, the home crowd was all the difference, Mac. 68 57. Um, I took EIU. I missed this. There was not even 200 people at this game. <laughs> but hey, all you need is the right 200 people. All right. Or the, they, the, they had the right more, but there was, yeah. it was like 150 versus. <laughs> 25 and then 25 just innocent bystanders just wait, waiting for the clock to run out so that they could shut down the arena. <laughs> and then I'll I'll give you credit for uh, swaying my pick on uh, New Mexico. I was originally going to take Fresno in the points, took New Mexico. Appreciate that. And then somehow Hawaii blows this fucking game and does not cover against Northridge, so we ate shit there. Oh, but Hawaii sure. still wins the game. Um. That was a critical game in the uh, the Big West as far as uh, seedings go because now I think what Hawaii jumps into sole possession of fifth place yep. as Northridge goes back to sixth. And there's some huge games tomorrow that uh, could, could decide some seeding too. Let's get to it, folks. But before we do that, I want to tell you the college basketball experience is brought to you by Manscaped. We top of the morning to you. This episode is brought to you by St. Patrick's Day's Shamrock Shavers Manscaped. Yes, this year, don't just chase rainbows. You know what I mean? Make your own pot of gold and groom your little leprechaun with the leaders and below the kilt care. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to your Clover Forest Manscapes. Uh, or sorry, your Clover Forest with Manscapes uh, Lawnmower 5.0 and let your confidence shine bright. Embrace the luck of the Irish and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com. Use that promo code SGP for 20% off. 20, SGPN, that is, for 20% off and free shipping. And look, I got the thing here. It's fantastic. YouTube.com slash the college experience. Let me find it. I got it here. This thing is incredible. All right. I know it's 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 large. <laughs> Um, but, uh, trust me, you, they give you three different, three different sizes here and it's just like, you, you want to do the classic trim. They got you covered. All right. They got a new foil blade to go smooth wherever, you know, wherever your heart desires. So, and ever since I've been using Manscaped, I can, I can, I can say, I can proudly say that I found my pot of gold there at the end of the rainbow. Um, so. It's got this thing's it's loaded too. It's got it's got dual LED spotlights. Navigate, you can navigate, you know, your shamrock patch, you know, in peace. And don't be worried that you make a mess. This shit's waterproof. All right, doesn't matter where you live. All right, doesn't matter. You wanted the shower, you can shave by the misty moors. You can go under a waterfall like a fucking Irish Spring commercial and just shave away. Uh, so what are you doing? Trimming the hedges in your, in, in your Irish garden isn't just for below the belt. You can also, uh, you know, you can dabble in other stuff too. Uh, complete your look with Manscaped signature beard hedger pro kit plus handyman electric face shaver. Whether you're sculpting your beard or, you know, clear, cleaning up your neckline, perhaps there's always the right tools for the job. Get 20% off and free shipping with the promo code SGPN at manscaped.com. We're also brought to you by Champs. Champs is hosting a free March Madness bracket for a chance to win a thousand dollars. Plus, if if you host uh, your own March Madness pool, you on Champs, you'll get an extra free entry into that bracket contest to win a thousand dollars. Tiebreakers are uh, determined by who enters first, so get your ass over there now. Don't miss out. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com dot slash champs. Once again, that's sportsgamblingpodcast.com dot com slash champs. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. Win bigger by betting smarter this NBA season with Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Research every NBA and soccer bet with historical stats and data. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame Bets to craft more intelligent, data-driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Once again, use that promo code SGP and you get 50% off your first month. Start researching. Start winning with Hall of Fame Bets. Shout out to Ciroc, who gave us 20 bucks. Appreciate that. Very kind. Um, uh, the games for tomorrow. I feel like we should jump in on some action. Did you guys do game balls? Game balls. Oh, yeah. Good, good memories. 
Good memory. Um, top game ball for me, Tennessee. Fucking huge road wins back to back. Rocky top. Yeah. Shout out to R. Wright. Gives us 20 bucks as, as well. Noah Mac Dundee fun. Appreciate you, R. Wright. Let's go, baby. Um, yeah. I think that's deserving of a game ball. Two huge wins against on the road in, in hostile environments. Uh, where are you going? Uh, I'm going to go Iowa State with that comeback. The way come back from double digits, complete the undefeated season at home uh, in Ames, 18 and 0, to still have a shot to share the Big 12 on Saturday. So Cyclones with the comeback. I like it. I think that is one of the better ones. I'll go with Seton Hall. You needed it. You yeah. needed it. You needed it. Maybe the biggest game of the day was that game. Uh, so Pirates get it done by 10 against the Wildcats. Uh, yeah. Where's your Where's your second one going? Um, Another team that didn't cover that played like shit. Sparty. Sparty had to get that one tonight. They couldn't lose that game, and they were they played as bad as ever in the first half, but grinding that thing out is a Sparty game ball for me. Yeah. Hey, a win's a win, right? Uh, yeah. f- a final one for me would be the Richmond Spiders. They weren't supposed yes. to be good this year. Yep. You fucking Chris Mooney. Build the guy a fucking statue. On Put it on I-95, too. Uh <laughs> I'll go build uh, it right now. Let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> what do you, what do you, uh, what did your final game ball, Mac? Uh, final game ball. You know what? Let's go to, let's go to the guy that got a contract extension, Indiana Mike Woodson. <laughs> they go to the <laughs> barn and beat the shit out of Minnesota. I mean, they, they fucking, they, they, they were up, I think, 18 start to at finish, one point. Man. Start to fucking finish. Just stuck it to them. Indiana's um, gonna win the fucking Big Ten tourney. Let's you're go. Starting to buy, you're starting to sell me on this idea. I was like, yeah, you know why they could, they could. Um, it's easy to see a tide turn. <laughs> we could, uh, but anyway, I mean, yeah, that's. It's easy to see a tide turn. Let's let's jump on into this. So, uh, so now we want to go through the tournaments that are starting before we we start talking about all these, all these games that's tomorrow. Bleak. I love it when you see brackets. You know, I mean, you get brackets, everything just let's starts. Go. And you know, ever since I was a kid, man, it's the best since I was league. a kid, I, I couldn't get a lot of the, the smaller West Coast conferences back in the day. I remember my dad brought home like a direct TV in the late, in the mid to late 90s. We could get access to, uh, for some reason, there was like a channel that only covered Missouri Valley. So I watched a shit ton of Missouri Valley. And uh, it's it's been one of my favorites ever since then. Obviously, they were a good conference then too. But uh, anyway. Um, your thoughts on this bracket, man? I'm trying to pull up the odds right now, but my computer's being slow as fuck. The, the, the just the initial thoughts before we go team by team on on what the odds are. It's just it's this this honestly, everybody. Like if we had to pinpoint what is a ideal TCE tournament, this is the tournament. Arch yeah. Madness in St. Louis. It always is wild at this place, and, and it's going to be wild once again um, because, unfortunately, it's going to be a one-bid league, it, it, and I hate it. It should be a two-bid league, but uh, Indiana State has been the darling all year. Drake was the darling last year. Them and Bradley, Drake almost beat Miami in the first round. They're the two seed, have the player of the year. Um, and then Northern Iowa, they've pulled off upsets in the past. They beat Kansas. They've been to a Sweet 16. Belmont, Murray, they've won games in the NCAA tournament. So this is honestly, this is my favorite mid-major league. By yeah. Far. yeah. I, mean, I yeah, especially, love this league. I mean, the Mountain West has come on a lot lately. I don't There's, even consider them a mid-major anymore. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Is but like I'm saying, one. Yeah. this one just has been rock solid for like 30 years. Yeah. The I Mountain the, West is kind of like the AAC to me, where it's like, yeah. yeah, they're not really a power conference right now, but they're still yeah. above – and the others, and another one. I mean, I love the SoCon too. I go out of my way to see the SoCon. The like SoCon, this, and obviously the Mountain West has emerged. Like ten years ago, Mountain West was ass. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, my my computer needs a trip to the computer store, but it's finally it's finally back. I have odds. Uh, so, uh, Indiana State's the odds on favorite plus one sixty. Drake plus two ten. 
Bradley plus 350, uh, Northern Iowa plus uh, 1100, Belmont plus 1500, uh, Southern Illinois plus 2200, Mary State plus 4000, uh, Missouri State plus 9000. Considering that's a, that's a one and a half spread tomorrow, uh, hilarious. Uh, UIC plus 20,000, Illinois State plus 20,000, Evansville plus 25,000, and Valpo plus 50,000. Um, I'm terrified. Look, I, I've been one of the people I think outspoken that I think Indiana State can can like all year. I was like, oh man, this is a team. You get them in March, they could fuck some teams up. I'm absolutely terrified for their for their season here. They're not gonna win it. I don't think they're gonna win it either, man. No, I think the fact that <laughs> they're probably gonna get you know Murray or Missouri State, but is is. Both teams, I think, are, are not horrible. Then you're going to get Northern Iowa or, Be- or a Red Hot Belmont, probably Northern Iowa, but Red Hot Belmont uh, won a bunch of games to close the season. And then you're going to get either Drake, Bradley, uh, you know, I mean, maybe there's another upset, but man, I I just think there's value in taking a shot. I, I'm, I'm going to play both India, uh, both Northern Iowa and Bradley. I think those are the ones with the biggest value. You yeah. can build a good case for Belmont or Southern Illinois. But I'm going to just, I think Northern Iowa and Bradley, the value meets like them being really good. Um, So I'm going to take a shot on them, but Mac, what, what are you doing here? I think Northern Iowa is going to win it. <laughs> I, I, I think Ben Jacobson and company is going to find a way to win it. And I think they're going to beat Drake in the final. So I I got uh, Northern Iowa eleven to one here, finding a way to get it done. If I had to go a long shot, um, I could see the Salukis beating Bradley and Drake. I don't know. I mean, like maybe I'm gonna I I'm gonna go Murray. I'm gonna go Murray at, at forty to one. I thought Murray I thought Murray was impressive Sunday against Indiana State. That game was back and forth. Um, I know Indiana State blew it open late, but Murray has talent, has guys. So if I had to do a long, long shot, Murray's got the culture of winning in March. Give me Murray at forty to one, but I do think Northern Iowa eleven to one gets it done. I love no, what are you doing here. I love how we're gonna end up with six different teams here that we're all giving out. I'm taking Northern <laughs> Iowa and Bradley. Those are my two bets. I'm just saying, like you okay, can, so, like uh, if someone told me Belmont and Southern Illinois, I could build them. I'd be like, yeah, I could see them making a run. There's good value on it. Yeah, so it's five different, I guess, since both of you guys have a little bit on Northern Illinois. Uh, for me, uh, no, Northern Iowa, Northern Iowa, not Northern Illinois. Sorry, not El- Northern. Il- I'm tired. Uh, either way, uh, for me, my one of my top options from the the top uh, at the at the board is Drake. It's plus two ten at DraftKings. They, in their little uh, quadrant to begin with, they'll play the winner of Evansville or Illinois State, and they're combined 4-0 against those two teams so far this season. Uh, So I like their draw. Uh, Everywhere else, I was looking at it, and I was like, yeah, like I truly believe in what Matt – we clipped it, we put it out on socials, what Mac said, neutral sites – the teams with the bye, it's not always a great advantage. No. I look at Murray State as a team that could really get hot and knock off Indiana State. So I'm hesitant on the Sycamores. Another team that I think could get hot and have the benefit of already playing a game in St. Louis and then going into one of these top four seeded games is Belmont. I I think they could have the advantage over the Panthers here. Uh, and... I think the Bruins, if they can get some help from Murray in that Indiana State game, that's what I'm specifically targeting. I can get a Belmont Murray State rivalry matchup in the semifinals, which would be Ooh. awesome. I would actually favor Belmont there, and I could get a, a Belmont shot. I, I, I like Belmont at 15 to 1. Um, so, yeah, Drake is my favorite long shot Belmont. All right. Uh, man, I can't wait to watch that. Uh, what do we got next? Starts tomorrow, man. It's We got afternoon yeah. basketball. You got morning basketball. Yeah, about time. Yes, daytime hoops. Uh, this ridiculous fucking, this is the worst fucking. <laughs> you hate this. I one. will argue with Noah a thousand 
bring this up in, in I, Vegas. We're drunk because I'll, I'll I'll be this year's. Uh, this will be your for for the revenge for Matt Painter. You're gonna stab um, him with I the think knife it's the most bag. perfectly constructed bracket. I think it's I really the most think. pathetic. I honestly think if I was Santa Clara, I would leave. I would join the Big West. I would say, hey, fuck you. Uh, I'll join the Big West. <laughs> when your game is in the regular season. Then, if you don't. And you guys wonder why BYU could never get to the fucking championship. Yeah. <laughs> but I was giving you regular season, man. I was also giving yeah, you regular, regular season. season. Yeah, this is, and this isn't that old. This isn't that old. This is that this old. Is fu- this is fucking horrible. I, yeah. I hate the double. I hate the quadruple buy. I do like the double buy. I think there should be something... Where you reward you, your teams? You know this is leverage play for Gonzaga. They were going to leave for the Mountain West. There, there's multiple reasons why this bracket's good. No, first off, it, no, it's it, horrible. First off, your better teams are probably going to represent your conference in the NCAA tournament, and at the end of the day, that's what everybody wants: is the best teams in the NCAA tournament representing your conference. The further they go in the NCAA tournament. The more comp, more money your conference makes. So hence, when Gonzaga was at its peak, you wanted Gonzaga to have a quadruple buy. Um, no. Secondly, no. you get more tournament games with this format, um, and the teams like a Loyola Marymount or Pepperdine, if they make a run, they right. have more shine with less games competing against them. Uh, thirdly, is it values the regular season. No, it I mean, does not. Yes, it does. When you have when you have the uh, normal eight team tournament, uh, take the NEC for example, and it's completely even. Sure, like it's completely even. But also, you get the results that you get today, like a couple of upsets here and there, and you That's can't... what's supposed to be March is about, man. It's supposed to be about fa- being fair, too. This is I, ridiculous. I like this, how everybody has a chance, but it also values the regular season. Ooh, bye when Pepperdine and Pacific don't aren't competitive at all in the conference. I, I don't think there's an argument for them no, to have. No team in the nation should get this many bye weeks, like bye games. This is absurd. The point is to play fucking basketball. You know what I, I mean? Ex- like, I explained to you the point. I, I truly believe that this is the ideal way to set up yeah. your bracket. If you're if, a for if sure one bid this, conference, if every conference did this, no, I'm not be, telling I, every conference. I would not to do be it. interested in watching. I'm telling the bottom 15 conferences to do it because when you only get one team in the NCAA tournament, you want it to be your best team. That way, your best represented, your best conference foot forward. And like I said, the further they go, the more money you make. It's a well, win-win and, and for everybody. That's why it's great that BYU left. And I hope San Diego and all these teams do because Gonzaga throws in way more money into their fucking program. So they're catering to the biggest fucking name brand because of how much money they throw in. And they're scared that Gonzaga is going to leave. And they're saying, oh, so Gonzaga wants this so they don't get upset by fucking Pepperdine. Why right? should we hold it against Gonzaga for putting the most money into their basketball program no, because, because they're passionate about basketball. I'm Why is that held against, against them? But to you me, just, you were basically just holding it against them. Well, because to me, uh, you should be able to, to play in a tournament, play basketball. The point is to play basketball, not which to they are. Tournament. No, they're not. They have two games. They're sitting there in Vegas for like a fucking week. No, they're not. They're sitting there in Vegas for two days. They're Bloody flying out on Friday. The point, though, and none of no one else in the fucking sport has two days off, two games of sitting there and watching. So to me, that is against the actual sport. What are you talking about? Uh, Big Ten, SEC, they they've got double and triple buys. They have no, forty fucking teams in their conference. They have, first they, yeah, they yeah. Have, yeah, they have they have the fucking the the playing game. They they, they should have one game off. They should have to. It should be. What are they? Got, nine teams. That's 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 even more yeah. ridiculous. They only have nine yeah. teams. Yeah, and they're it doing this not, nine and eight. Nine and eight plays one, and then we go. And the fact that they do this, they, they do this because they don't want Gonzaga to leave, and they do this because the threat that Gonzaga doesn't want this because if Pepperdine or Pacific or whoever San Diego was to knock them off, it would then basically ruin their fucking chances of the outright bid. It's Correct. just fucking hilarious. It's like. Why would you listen to them? Why would you listen to them? To be honest, 
They've actually I explained to you why. Stole, they've actually probably stolen a bid from themselves over the years because Gonzaga and St. Mary's most years have been safely in. If they had a more traditional bracket, traditional bracket, yeah. they probably could have had a BYU. I completely agree. I think it's a horror. Like BYU, BYU. Or, or San Francisco could have won yeah. some of those years. And then stacking the deck additional them tournament team ruins their chances. Yeah. Rob, right. I'm not saying uh, the upset is not possible. March Madness is about upsets. Technically, it's not. It's about basketball. The yeah, upsets happen basketball, and, they make and they're, it they're fun, sitting there in a but, nine game conference where they got two games just they're just sitting there picking their ass. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. This is a fucking communist approach by fucking the WCC. Terrible. They should fire everybody. Um I, I don't know how it's communist. Just go out and beat Gonzaga. What after you regular play, season? Yeah, what, after yeah. you played a game yeah. and you in the regular season, that. St. Mary's did it this year and they got a one seed. They, they get the bye. Well, there's no difference between the one and two seeds. They're the yeah. same fucking thing. Who cares well, about the one, one seed? Gets the one seed gets three three games in front of them in, instead of only two. That's what's hilarious too. Is it basically devalues the one two seeds, right? Yeah. No, it doesn't. They've stayed. I, I they fucked themselves out of a bit or two over the years with this stupid format. I agree. I just, it is, uh, to each their own. There, this is a very polarizing bracket. I feel like the discussion, I guess, needed to be had. We both made our points. Neither of us are. I could do a seminar on this. Let me know. Me Let I me already know. did. Yeah. So, um, and and it, it, it went in one ear and out the other. I can already tell. With that oh, yeah. said, I will take St. <laughs> Mary's to win. Let, I'm going to take St. Mary's to win. Let me read these odds. Let me read these odds. Gonzaga <laughs> minus 115. St. Mary's plus 105. Uh, the Dons of San Francisco plus twelve or twelve hundred. Uh, Santa Clara plus twenty five hundred. San Diego plus fifteen thousand. Steve Lavin, they got a chance. Uh, Portland, the Pilots plus fifteen thousand. LMU, Kelly LePepe plus twenty thousand. Pepperdine plus thirty thousand. And Pacific plus thirty thousand. Um, the uh, I know you just made a case for St. Mary's, but I almost think there's no value in taking either of the first two. I think you either play Santa Clara or San Francisco. If, if you're going to play St. Mary's, in my opinion, you, you bet the spread and you roll it over against Gonzaga on the money line. And that's basically your implied future. Gary, Gary was saying this in the SGP show. That makes perfect sense. You, you'll get better odds on St. Mary's against Gonzaga <laughs> as a dog. I, than you will. Sure. I, I don't know if they're going to be a dog. I think it's going to be a pick. Yeah, it's going to be pretty close to a pick on a neutral floor. Uh, because I, be Colby, surprised. the spread the spread at Gonzaga was minus two and a half. Correct. The spread at St. Mary's was minus three and a half for St. Mary's. So I think yeah. it's a pick. But I think they'll I, give. I think Gonzaga is going to be Cowboys, favored by one. Some cowboy treatment. So some Duke Blue Devil treatment. Yeah, could be. Um, either way, if if, this is if it's blue, if it's play. Duke Blue Devil treatment, I'm locking St. Mary's, like I have the previous two games. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't think there's any value in St. Mary's and Gonzaga. There's no value. It's just like I said. If you want to bet, e if you think either one of them, like whichever team you like more, bet them on the spread in game one, and if they cover the spread, roll that over into the money line game too, and yeah. that's your future. You got. I, but sometimes I'll, the first game is the hardest game. <laughs> yes, I'll take. Which, I'll, I'll take like Santa Clara. They, they only lost by five to St. Mary's. I, you got to take to me, like, I obviously the, the bottom. They of lost this, by 35 the other game, though. Yeah, St. but that, the more recent one was five. Um, <laughs> and to me, there's no value. Pacific Pepperdine, San Diego, Portland. Maybe you could talk me into LMU, but I'm not really. They're all injured. No. So I think, I think that, that you have to take either Santa Clara or San Francisco. I'll take both. Sprinkle both. <laughs> I'd be I'd be very surprised right now if this is not St. Mary's and Gonzaga, and I think it'll be a pick. So I think I'll be. I, I think the line's telling you that probably Gonzaga will be what minus one, and you'll be getting what plus one hundred five on the money line. So I'll take my plus one fifteen right now um, as my value, and give me San Fran as the other one. Where, where are you getting plus one fifteen? At plus one hundred five is what I'm seeing. Oh shit! You're right. Gonzaga is minus There's one. No value. There's Gonzaga. No Gonzaga is minus one fifteen. I got my fifteen and fives mixed up. 
I'm still taking St. Mary's. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, for what it's worth, if I were to give out one pick, which I am going to, it'd be pussy if I'm not going to give out a pick for picking conference tournaments. I'm giving out San Francisco here. I think they got the better chance to beat Gonzaga than San- Santa Clara does St. Mary's. Gonzaga just murdered the Dons last week. They're going to sleepwalk through this game, especially, you know, this is their first game on the neutral site. San Fran probably beats LMU or Portland. They're used to the sight lines in this neutral stadium here in Las Vegas, I believe this is. So I like the Dons coming in with the revenge angle. Gonzaga possibly sleepwalks through this thing. I think they're more likely to beat Gonzaga than Santa Clara. And then when the Dons win, do whatever you want. Hedge it if you want or uh, let it ride. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I'll sprinkle both Santa Clara and San Francisco, and you know, maybe you get to a spot where you hedge, but uh, not known to, to hedge. Think, did B, B, BYU made it to the title, I think, a couple times. A couple, they, they made it to the title game against Kispert, and they were leading with 10 minutes to go. 10 minutes to go. Possibly even I, five. Was yeah. that the COVID year? What a shitty brand. Yes. Yes. It was um, the COVID year. Let, let's go to the next one. I'm sick of looking at this disgusting filth. Um, all right. Now we're fucking talking. Now we're cooking. This is a great bracket. I love the fucking SoCon. Love the SoCon. And uh, folks, YouTube.com slash the college experience. Let me rattle off those uh, those odds to you. But you can see the bracket that we're publishing there or that we're putting out there. Um, the odds on favorite is Sanford plus 150 UNC Greensboro, uh, next plus 425. The Catamounts, shout out to Weehawk, uh, plus 500 Chattanooga, the Mox plus 550 Furman plus 700. Woo. Wofford plus 1500, uh, East Tennessee state, the Buccaneers plus 2000 Mercer plus 6,000, the Citadel plus 13,000 and VMI plus 50,000. Oh man. There's value in this conference, in my opinion. Oh yeah, there's a lot of value. You 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 could. So looking at this bracket, let's try to strategize here. Is it value or like parity? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's parity. I guess same thing. Um, <laughs> this is I not going to be chalk. I the winner of that Furman Western Carolina game is going to give Sanford fits. Yes, if Sanford beats Mercer. Yeah. Yeah, who's got? Didn't they? Didn't Mercer beat him? Yes, Mercer has a win. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think, I think that's Mercer one of Sanford's three losses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I kind of think if you have a strong edge on who's going to win that Furman Western Carolina game, you ride that. In the on the on the south side of the bracket, I like Greensboro. I know they're the two seed, but I just think that they're going to get either VMI or East Tennessee State. I think they're going to be fine there. And I think you hope for uh I think they'll they'll be okay against Wofford or Chattanooga, but I think you hope for Chattanooga. I actually think Wofford can give them a harder time than Chattanooga. For what it's worth, they would not face Wofford. If Wofford wins, oh, this, they they, they re Stanford. they redo yep. it, huh? Yep. Ooh, that makes it a little trickier. Okay. I I'm still going to take a shot on Greensboro. I know they're just the two seed, but Oh, this is this is Greensboro is my maybe you could talk me into Furman. Furman's value is great. I, I know the, the Western Western Carolina could beat them. Yeah, but it's plus seven hundred. Even the Wofford play at plus fifteen hundred is not crazy. They can beat Chattanooga. Um, yeah. Sign me up for Greensboro. If I had to sprinkle another one, I might sprinkle Furman. All right, Mac. Uh, I'm going to go Furman, 7-1, to one, to go back-to-back back here. You, you know me, the blue blood here. Uh, over the last couple of years, they've they've been the class of this league. Uh, I think Furman still has another gear that they're going to turn on here in uh, the SoCon. Long shot, the Buccaneers. I think they're going to pick off Greensboro. They just beat them on Saturday. I think they can beat them again. Sometimes we see these dogs beat these higher seeds 
back to back, kind of like Vandy beating Kentucky last year, back to back. Um, I like ETSU. I like that long shot. I think they're playing better uh, down the stretch under year one head coach uh, Brooke Savage. Mm. All right. Um, so, Buccaneers, baby. For me, this is so I only have one bet, one future in this conference. I think all hell is going to break loose. At least one upset's happening. I specifically targeted that four or five game. I I don't think the Paladins are as good as this year as they have been in the past. And you know what? I think Avontarius Wolverine's the best player in the SOCON. I think Where's this tournament? He, is this in Asheville still? Asheville. Yeah, it's in Asheville. Yeah. So I think Western, if, my, 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 my point is Western Carolina is not far from Asheville. Yeah. I, I, I think Wolbright has the capability of taking over a game. And in a conference like this, a star player can win you a game in the conference tournament. Um, and specifically, if I, I think there's an upset bound to happen. If it does not happen, Samford with the Bucky Ball thing, they they go eight to nine deep. They don't really have the the stars that's going to pound the stat sheet every single night. Woolbright is gonna is a triple double threat on any given night. I like Western Carolina plus five hundred uh, to win the SoCon. I mean, I kind of like your angle with that home edge because I mean, I think I think that's only like. F- like 30 or 40 minutes away, right? Am I crazy? I think that's really close to Asheville. Um, yeah, I'm fascinated. Can't wait. All right, folks. Uh, what to tell you that this is the end of side A. Side B, we're going to pick all the games for tomorrow's action. So if you're on YouTube, just stay put. But on the audio side, uh, give us a few and make sure you check out the B side. All right, we are back on the college basketball experience, and let's pick some fucking games. Do you, have the other, do you have the other two tournaments prepped or no? Yeah, sure. We can do it. Yeah? Let's fire. Let's fire. All right. I, I'd like to just get them out there in advance. So uh, we have the Summit League that we can pick, and then last and, and This CAA. tips off what? This tips off Friday. Friday. Like, yeah. Yeah. Summit, Summit and CAA start Friday. Okay, the Summit League, the odds-on favorite is South Dakota State, plus 130. St. Thomas, the Tommies, plus 300. They're still not eligible to make it, I believe. Yeah. Isn't this the final year? Uh, yeah. UMKC is plus 750. The Fighting Hawks of North Dakota, plus 800. Omaha's plus 1,300. Denver, plus 1,400. North Dakota State, plus 1,500. Oral Roberts, plus 3,500. And South Dakota, plus 13,000. Um, yeah. UMKC had a hot finish to their the regular season. <laughs> Any, I mean, look, I feel like South Dakota State's better than everybody here, but the, I hate the the fact that they would play the Tommies in the second round. I know. So I, was, I almost think you you take UMKC or or North. You want the other side of that bracket. Yes. You want yes, UMKC or North Dakota. Maybe even Denver's uh, no, is Denver Pioneers or or, or Omaha? Or Omaha. Yeah. Tommy Bruner. Uh, you know what? Give me. Where, where's this being? Is this at the Pentagon? It's Pentagon, yeah. Yeah. How far is Grand Forks, North Dakota to, to the from the Pentagon? It's gotta be a <laughs> couple hours, but um Yeah, the Pentagon's in like South South Dakota from my memory, correct, Mac? Yeah. It's a good amount of way. And yeah. there's not that many North Dakota fans. The bison's <laughs> different. The bison's <laughs> different. Give me the fighting hawks. Just because if All the right. Tommies if the Tommies pick off South Dakota State, yeah, then wait, how does this go if the Tommies beat South North Dakota in the championship? Is this going back to South Dakota State or is this the I, loser? In I the would have to look into how yeah. that works because that 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 actually kind of matters on my handicap <laughs> because I, I I do think if the Tommies beat South Dakota State, they, there's a decent shot they win the whole fucking thing, but. I'll take. A, I'll sprinkle North Dakota, the Fighting Hawks. So my initial team that I landed on with North was North Dakota, mainly because I was afraid of Tommy Bruner and Denver possibly knocking off UMKC. But I I scratched off North Dakota. I went single shot with UMKC. Uh, I'm tempted to do both, but 
the kangaroos are currently they're the hot. Cocktail they're like five or six in a row, right? They're currently the cocktail napkins number one team in the in the Summit League. So there's plenty of value here with plus six fifty, and uh, Denver could totally just blow this thing up in my face. Here's what I'm gonna say though: is UMKC, like you said, six wins in a row, and they're over North Dakota, South Dakota State, Omaha, and Denver. All right, you sold their six you wins. Sold me. I haven't bet this so, yet. Uh, let's go. They have, Fuck North in Dakota. the last six games, they've beaten all three teams in their side of the bracket and South Dakota uh, State. Sorry. Yes. So I, I, I like the ruse. <laughs> Love our chat. Key information <laughs> South Dakota has a hot governor. Um, <laughs> Chris, <you> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mac, what are you doing here, man? I, I think uh, you sold me on the Jackrabbits. Yeah, I'm I'm on the Roos. Jackrabbits. Oh yeah, the kangaroos, the kangaroos. My bad. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the Jackrabbits plus one thirty, but long shot. Omaha, Omaha, baby, thirteen to one. I think they're gonna pick off North Dakota, who's overachieved. Then who knows what will happen? Let's go, North Dakota or Omaha over North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> Omaha, uh, baby. Love the Pentagon is one of my favorite tournament spots. It just looks like the old Boston Garden. Oh yeah, we need some. We need to play a fucking final four there. Um, uh, what, what do you got next? Look at got? Rob saying, "Christy Noem." I'm now even more sold on South Dakota State. I do like Christy Noem. She is good looking too. Uh, <laughs> where, where are you going here next, though? All right, last one, CAA. Now this is a bracket. Yes. Yes. Oh man. Who the fuck knows what the fuck to do here? Oh my I think God. you're Charleston. You hate the fact you're getting Wilmington. Yeah. I mean, so YouTube.com slash the college experience. Let me rattle off these odds as I analyze the bracket. Uh, Real quick, in Washington, D.C. too. Yes, yes. It, it is now being played in Washington, D.C. I think it's the second or third year. Why am I not seeing fucking odds on that? Uh, check. It's not on DK. Okay. This is just like the NEC last night, I think. Uh, and you got. I uh, went to bed. Rat, rattle. Can you rattle that off? Yeah, give me a second to pull it up. Yeah, okay. I can't find it because uh, what's it? Uh, Hampton and Bill and Mary are. Oh, uh, you got some in Virginia, Virginia schools. Yep. All right, so I'm pulling up the app on my phone right now. I mean, but yeah, this is this bracket. There's nothing. Uh, too special about it. No reseeding. All neutral site. Washington D.C. Charleston's the one seed. Drexel's the two seed. Hofstra's the three seed. UNCW's the four seed. All of those teams technically have double buys. Um, and the play-in game, the first four in the CAA is Will and Mary against NC and and then Hampton against Elon. Um, and bet MGM is under maintenance. <laughs> so hold on. Dude, Towson could beat Wilmington too. Didn't they do that? I think they did that the last time they played. Yeah. So Towson's going to get a and T or William and Mary and win. Then that's a dangerous matchup for Wilmington. I don't know, man. I guess I'm going to go. I think that might even go chalk. I think Charleston might be. I don't know. I could see. I, I've been impressed with Drexel when I watch him this year. Maybe buy some of that. Northeastern's a dangerous 10 seed, though. I know Max Max on his Northeastern squad. Oh, yeah. Um, and Bill and Mary. Watch out for them in the 13 no, hole. <laughs> no, no. They're fucking trash. Uh, <laughs> they're going to so, fucking beat the hell out of North Carolina a t They could win that. that. They could win that. So um, shout out to Bet MGM, to uh, Bet Rivers, and uh, Caesars. All fucking three of their apps are under maintenance. 3.17 a.m., but shout out to ESPN Bet. These are where these odds are getting pulled from. Charleston, plus 200. Hofstra, plus 280. UNC Ooh. Wilmington, plus 350. Drexel, plus 400. Towson, 10 to 1. Delaware, 14 to 1. Monmouth, 33 to 1. Stony Brook, 33 to 1. Northeastern, 50 to 1. Campbell, 300 to 1. Elon, 500 to 1. Hampton, 500 to 1. NCA and T 500 to win one and William and Mary 501. I, I just give me uh, the, the, 
Wilmington's value was second, you said? Wilmington's plus 350. That's currently third on the odds board behind Charleston and Hofstra. I'll take Drexel's fourth. They're the two seed. Your odds are nice. Give me the give me the dragons. Give me the dragons take care of business. I like their path. Obviously, Northeastern is more is, is a scarier opponent to me than Stony Brook. So I'm hoping Stony Brook beats Northeastern. But after that, I think they can beat Hofstra. I even think Delaware could upset Hofstra. Um, and uh, the other side is pandemonium to me because Towson could beat Wilmington. Charleston could beat Wilmington. Wilmington could beat Charleston. Towson could beat Charleston. They, they all traded victories against one another. Correct. Yeah. Um, so I like the south side of this bracket. Mac, what are you doing here? Give me the team the year after the year they were hyped up. Give me Hofstra to get it done over Wilmington. I like Hofstra. They played well down the stretch. They, their only loss was against Charleston. Uh, they were the one seed last year, choked it away against Wilmington. They get the revenge against Wilmington. And I think Wilmington picks off Charleston in the semis in the CAA. So Hofstra over Wilmington in the final for me. I'm right there with Mac. I have Hofstra. And Speedy Claxton's bunch here. I'm avoiding that top half of the bracket like Colby had uh, alluded to. Uh, you know, UNCW Charleston is going to be a great semifinal matchup, even if it even happens, because Monmouth is solid. Campbell had a little bit of a run in the middle of the year, and Towson's knocked off uh, Charleston so far this season. And Wilmington. Uh, yeah. And Wilmington. Um, so I I went with Hofstra because they are 2-0 and against Hampton. 1-0 against Elon and 1-0 against Delaware so far this season. And my long shot, yes, I do have a long shot here that I feel pretty good about. Give me Stony Brook at 33-1. to They're 2-0 oh, against Northeastern oh, so far this here. year. They're you just did away to win the first game. Yeah. They're they're two and zero against the Huskies so far this year, and the cocktail nap can see some value. It has them as a fifth ranked team here in the CAA, and they have the great draw on the right side of the bracket. I think they got a chance against the Dragons, and if I can get a Hofstra Stony Brook <laughs> semifinal matchup, that's the dream. Well, my, my, my where's this champion? game at? Let me lock up Northeastern. Right yeah, yeah. Now. Saturday. <laughs> lock. First lock on Saturday, March 9th. Give me Northeastern again. <laughs> I, I think my championship game is Wilmington against Drexel. Wilmington against go. Drexel. Um, I have Hofstra, Charleston. Hofstra wins. All right. Do we got any more tipping off on Friday? Nope. Okay. That is, that is all of them. And, folks, if you're listening to this on the audio side, we covered the other conferences, the uh, Arch Madness. Uh, what else was it? There was uh, there were three other conferences we covered. I'm fucking brain dead. Um, the Valley, WCC, SoCon, Summit, yeah. CAA today. Yeah, but some of those were on the first episode. Is my point. So go listen to the first episode Correct. for for the the first three conferences there. Uh, I'm let's pick it. some fucking winners. Uh, but before we do that, I want to tell you the college basketball experience is brought to you by. Cut. Cut is a peer-to-peer social betting platform that's U.S. based and available in 40 different states. They got P2P social betting, uh, and that is a brand new way and better way to bet. Uh, bet directly against your friends or other users on sports, politics, pop culture, and other events with verifiable outcomes, plus tons of fun social features that give it a feel of a betting social network, so to speak. Cut offers lower vig and fully customizable odds. You can create your own bets, and right now we have a bet going on that we uh, we did over here at SGPN. And we invite you to take this on cut. So get, get that cut app Hot. So starting Monday, all the way to Sunday, we have an over under of one and a half buzzer beaters. Now it, it's gotta be a true buzzer beater. Can't be an overtime buzzer beater. You have to end the game with a outcome and there's gotta be zeros on the clock, but I am going to ride the over here. You want to make some money, hop on over to cut, take the over against, you know, against what we've set up here. So you're forcing us to take the under. Uh, get on over there. What the fuck's going on? All right, cut.com. 10% off with the promo code SGPN. Uh, we're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is the easiest place to play fantasy sports. It's also the fastest growing fantasy app in the industry. Pick whether your favorite player is going to have a higher or lower stat total in this week's game for a chance to win big. You can win up to 100 times the amount of money you enter in a single night. Just pick between two and five players to build a pick entry. Um, so what are you doing, folks? Sign up today with the promo code SGPN. Get your first deposit doubled up to a hundred dollars as well as an instant pickup special. 
Visit Underdog Fantasy and find them in the App Store. And don't forget to register with the promo code SGPN to get your first deposit doubled up to $100 as well as an instant pickup special over at Underdog Fantasy. All right, we are back. And it's time to pick games. 9.30 in the morning for me. I'm just going to wake up and start watching classics. It is finally here. Madness is truly here now. Georgia Southern is taking on South Alabama there at Pensacola, Florida at the Bay Center. Oh, man. What could go wrong when South Alabama is laying two and a half? Why is this line so short, Mac? <laughs> hey, this finally we have Dave basketball. Finally, finally, finally. And Georgia Southern is going to get it done tomorrow, baby. They lock have to, right? Up, lock up, my guys. Oh. They played well down the stretch under – uh First year head coach down there, uh, Henry, that came over from Alabama. Let's go. I can't, I can't lock that. Let's go. You got to bet this. Southern. Oh, you got to bet this. It's the first one off the bat. They've been so bad this year, man. No, they finished strong. They did finish strong. If you remember, they they're still started, three and seven in their last 0, 10. They started 0 and 15. They're still three and seven in their last 10. Meanwhile, South Alabama six and four, which has me terrified. They're eight and 10 it. in league play. Why is the line so short? Let's go. On a midnight train to Georgia, take uh, take the Eagles. Let's go. Charlie Henry. Oh, Let's man. Go Eagles, baby. Statesboro. <laughs> Missouri State. Arch Madness, one hour later. Missouri oh. State. Murray State. The Racers are laying one and a half. Man, I had a hard time forecasting this one. I think Missouri State's going to get them. They have all seniors. Murray State's been all over the place for me this year. They've been a really hard team to understand. I understand the culture angle that you were building there, Mac. But I think the veterans are going to get the dub. Give me Missouri State to knock off Murray in Arch Madness. No bet. What are you doing here? No, oh, another bet for me, baby. Give me Murray. Murray, it's, they're going to have way more fans. They're going to have the crowd here at Arch Madness. That, that fan base travels. Murray State, way better than their record. Isn't talented. It Springfield, Mass, uh, uh, not Massachusetts. Springfield, uh, Missouri is close to St. Louis, right? Yes, but no one cares. Murray, Murray is also a psychotic fan base. They're, for for a mid major, Murray's crazy. So give me Murray. They have more talent, in my opinion. Um, new season, better than the record. Let's go. Uh, Moneyline Mac locking up the racers. Coastal Carolina is getting 12 and a half at Louisiana. Or not at Louisiana, but in Pensacola at noon against Louisiana. You take Coastal again. I mean, they're the advantage of playing the game, so I'll take yeah. the points. They're not going to win this game. They're not going to win this game. But Louisiana, I think Louisiana will win this game. But Coastal, Coastal, the advantage of playing the game, I think, is all the difference. They cover the 12 and a half. Yeah, yeah Coastal's a fringe lock. Check the picture. I, I might bet this, too. Yeah, I, Just, well, let's do it, let's man. Do it. Let's, I, do it. let's do it. Come on. They, they already played a game. They're ready to go. That, that's a huge edge to me. When you get yes. that first game and you can play that game, we saw it with Jacksonville. I think it's at least enough to cover. Valpo is getting 13 and a half against Belmont. Valpo with a big number always covers. Give me Valpo. I'll lay with Belmont. This line is fucking huge. They're telling us something's going on. Belmont's fucking rolling. Yeah. I mean, I just kind of expected the line would be like this, though, right? Thought it would be at least 12, 13, right? What's the line? 13. 13 right? and a half. Woo. Cocktail napkin has it at 17. Then you should lock Belmont. I will, because they're my <laughs> long shot in this conference. You're Let's welcome. go. <laughs> Give me the Bruins. <laughs> Thanks for the nudge, man. If you could see my... Uh, Noah's locking up uh, uh, Belmont minus the points against Valpo. I've just been recording all day, so I just have like seven, seven cans of of carbonated water with like three glasses of alcohol, 
It's just stupid. Um, <laughs> Pacific is at Pepperdine. Pepperdine's laying nine and a half. <laughs> Pacific, didn't they fire their coach, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take Pacific. Should we, <laughs> should we take it on the money line? <laughs> Dude, this is March Madness. I mean, they're 0-16 in league play, but it's a new season. It's a brand new season. Who's Pepperdine to be laying nine and a half? I'm taking I'm taking I'm taking Pacific points. Dude, yeah, Pacific. Check the picks page. Come on. Now I got a lock in this one. Texas State's taking out Southern Miss. Texas State might have got a little fortunate the other night. They capitalize on the fact they got to play a game. Gimme! The Red Hot Bobcats, who are 7-3 in their last 10 against Southern Miss, 4-6 and six in their last 10. What are you doing here, Mac? I agree with you. Texas State got that bad game out of their system, uh, survived, advanced. You got Southern Miss, on the other hand, interim head coach, pressure spot because they're the higher seed. Give me Texas State play with house money. Let's go. Texas tough. Let's go, buddy. Double lock. Triple Bobcats. lock. <laughs> Trip it. Bobcats. Triple lock it. Bobcat. What to go wrong? Uh, Spinal. Let's get after it with Texas State. Minus one and a half. Let's go. Uh, UAB. This is this is just a real this is a regular season game here. UAB is at Temple. UAB is laying two and a half. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Give me UAB reluctantly. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'll take Temple, but I don't want to bet this one. This one, yeah. Oh. Give me Temple. Where's UAB going to be mentally after that collapse? Also. <laughs> I mean, that was one of the worst collapses of the year. <laughs> Still, though, I mean, Temple's such a weird team. So, I don't know. Canisius is catching eight and a half at Fairfield. Oh, boy. Uh, Fairfield, minus the point. System play. I like Fairfield here, too. I, I, I'm it? not. That's a big number. It is a big number for yeah. MAAC. Yeah. I'm um, not betting the MAAC until the tournament, although I do have an MAAC lock coming up here soon. <laughs> do you have a line? I was not able to find one for Iona and Manhattan. I think seven? it was seven. Yeah, seven. Iona's laying seven. I'll lay at it. Manhattan. At the Jaspers. Yeah, I'll lay it, but I'm not betting. Yeah, I'll lay it too. Uh, Niagara is laying seven and a half at the Saints of Seattle. This is the one I think we should bet. Sienna, right? I was good. I wanted to bet Niagara because Sienna beat them at Niagara. Niagara finally lost their first road game. They've lost what three in a row now. I feel like it's a it's a take take everything out on fucking poor old Sienna here, and it's not a Sunday. Hmm. They've count. lost three in a row. Um, I'll take Niagara. No bet. I'm locking like play at seven. Actually, this Sienna. They're gonna fuck Sienna up. Dude, Sienna's god awful. All right. <laughs> you, you, you pressure me into this thing. Let's go. Purple Eagles, minus seven and a half. Marist is at Quinnipiac. Quinnipiac's laying three and a half. Mm. I took the points. I'm taking the points too. Maris in the points. Rutgers is at Wisconsin. Wisconsin's laying nine and a half. Lay it, and I might lock this. Really? Yeah. Rutgers only scores like 53 points on the road every year. But Wisconsin only scores 60 yeah. at, home, at home because they're staples. Why is it nine and a half? This is like the Michigan State spread today. I know. That's why I want to take Rutgers. I, I'm going to lock Rutgers. I'm not. I'm not overthinking this. R Rutgers is going to keep. This is just going to be a fucking rugby match, sixty-five, sixty, or whatever. No bet from me. You can. You can get your music. Give me Rutgers. Give me Rutgers. Rutgers plus nine and a half from Moneyline Mac. Now I will lock this one. Bucknell's getting four and a half against American. American's going to fuck up Bucknell tomorrow. Lay the four and a half. Let's go. 
What are you doing here? I had this one circled too. Let's go, American AU, baby. Let's go. Roll, roll, roll. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, the old rivalry is back. Lehigh, Lafayette. Lehigh's laying three and a half. Lock. Give me Lehigh minus three and a half. Mac? Oh, th- this is one of the biggest uh, telling lines of the day. The six seed laying three and a half at the three seed. Give me Lehigh all day. Lehigh, let's go. That was my exact angle. Yeah, this one's telling you what's going to happen here. Yeah, Lehigh Plus, this is at Lafayette. Come on now. I know. Triple lock with the Mountain Hawks. Let's go. Evansville's catching three and a half at Illinois State. I'm going to stay chalky. I'm going to lay the three and a half with Illinois State. That's not, this is in St. Louis, by the way. I'm, I'm sorry if I keep saying at. I just read it like that. Um, give me Illinois State. Minus three and a half. Mac? Give me Illinois State, too. Illinois State will be a fringe lock for me. I actually like this Illinois State team. Let's bet it. Let's bet it. All right, let's go. Redbirds. Redbirds. Minus three and a half against the Purple Aces. Let's go. Holy Cross is getting 18 and a half points. (laughs) Oh, boy. I did this. I did this in the regular season. I lost by forty. I feel like uh, I World bet Holy Cross. <laughs> I'm still taking Holy Cross. All right, and I like the fact they played a game. I'm taking the points. Yeah, you want to bet it? Yes. <laughs> Holgate's not as good as they've been. We've been saying that. I'm not going to back away off that Holy Cross. Crusaders plus eighteen and a half double luck. Phoenix coming in for this? You guys haven't been saying that Colgate's not as good as they've been more than system. You've no, been we saying got off system, the system hell two of weeks ago. Or two, system. three weeks I left, ago. I abandoned the system. Three weeks ago, we got off you the guys, system. You guys have been saying system a hell of a lot more than. But then we abandoned it. We said, oh, alert, alert, bo- abort, abort. <laughs> yeah. No. So what are you going to do? Lay it? I'm laying it with the Raiders. Lock Give me the toothpaste. Lock <laughs> it up. Oh my god! <laughs> this is the time when they turn it on. Oh, uh, you're fucking cocktail you're... napkin minus twenty and a half. Let's go Colgate. Mm. Put it on. Him. We got a battle. Toothpaste. Noah riding with the toothpaste. Mac Dundee said, "Crusaders, let's go." System Navy. He's taking on Boston. BU's laying three and a half. Eh, I'll lay the three and a half with BU. You can't talk me into a lock. I don't think Navy's any good. But is BU ready for this? Because Navy's hot lately. I kind of think Navy's going to win. <laughs> Give me Navy. Yeah. Navy's got the momentum. Yeah. Fringe lock. Check the picks page. Getting, getting points. I think they're going to win. This game, this next game is awesome. IPFW is taking on Oakland at Oakland. Where IPFW won. Each team won on the road in their Uh-oh. matchups. Uh oh. Oakland's laying three and a half. Beanick is he's sweating this one. The one seed's only laying three and a half. <laughs> I'm actually gonna take Oakland though. I think I think their offense is is the real difference maker here, but I don't feel good about it. this. Is not a bet by any means. Give me Oakland minus three and a half. What are you doing here? I got a bet. I'm betting Fort Wayne. I I they've already got the game under their belt. The pressure of the one seed in this tournament, the horizon is always a shit show. Give me yeah. Fort Wayne, money line, campy goes out early. I, he's going back to McDonald's. <laughs> money line, Mac, <laughs> locking up the airport of IPFW. Did you talk about McDonald's on the show before? Or? No, did you, you see the commercial with yes. Campy at uh no, I didn't talk it's about it, but I saw, I saw the ad. I, saw it I love on social. Yeah, I love Campy, but yeah. Yeah. No, I you, would you, love nothing more. This? I would love more, nothing more than to see uh, Campy win it and possibly go to the NCAA tournament, go out on a high note if he wants to. I'm not betting this. I'm coming in here with insight, actually. It's a home game for Oakland, but nobody's going to be there at spring break. Woo! Uh-oh. Fort Wayne, baby. Fort Wayne. Yeah, I think you just swayed my pick. You swayed my pick. Give me yeah, IPFW I, now. We're going to have another I saw, one go down tomorrow. 
I think they're doing three dollar tickets tomorrow just to why get they people there. God, they're the one seat. But why would they set it's, that up though? It's so tough. It's spring break the next week, you fucking losers. <laughs> they can't uh, change it. I, I'm gonna pull I'm pulling it up now. They they tweeted out something that they I mean beginning of the use. year. Make sure it doesn't align. You can change it beginning all, of the year. All students get in free with a valid student ID. They're desperate to fill this thing up. Mm. So they're fucked. Um Cleveland State's catching nine and a half at Youngstown State. I'm taking the Vikings plus nine and a half. I think it's a game. Both teams just loaded with seniors. I feel like I was going through their starting fives. They're like fucking nine seniors. This is a pride game. Give me the points. Youngstown's probably going to win. Give me the yeah. I, don't think it's, I don't think it's that crazy that the money line could hit for, for Cleveland State, by the way. No. For, for, it... for that juicy of a, of a, of a money line play. Yeah, and I mean, to our angle, Cleveland State already got a game under their belt too. I mean, they um, they beat Uwe Pui the other night, so going to Youngstown, pressures on Youngstown again. A lot of pressure. Youngstown lost as the number one seed last year. I like Cleveland State here to keep this puppy close. I see, and I know Michael's saying plus three forty-five. I see plus three sixty out there. Yeah, this is a lock. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, let's go. Let's let's this go. is a Verizon. Dog yes. it up. Nine and a half. I was shocked at this. Oh boy, the what could happen here? I, I there's so many games at the four o'clock slate I want to watch. One was Cleveland State Youngstown. One's IPFW Oakland. You know they're playing these at the same fucking time for some strange reason. Uh, there's others too, like the American game. But Jacksonville, red hot Jacksonville is coming yeah. back to Florida. And they're taking on Stetson. Stetson's laying six, six and a half. I think the magic runs out here. I'm locking up Stetson. I am too. Minus the points. All right. You had a good nice run. trip to Kentucky. All right. Stetson minus the points. Double lock. But this I, love, I love Jacksonville, but I think it ends here. Yeah, I do too. Hold uh, on, I'm coming in the triple lock this thing. Stetson yeah. owns the state of Florida. I had to go look at the previous two results. They covered this number both times. Give me the Hatters. Like I said, they own the state of Florida. Triple lock on Stetson minus six. Six and a half. Jump around. Um, well, Jacksonville, start your fucking football program back up. Why would you ever take it away, you filthy, filthy cowards? Um... This game's awesome, too, at the same fucking time. North Alabama's getting three and a half against Austin P. <laughs> uh, I mean, I have a future in Austin P, so I have to take them. But am I terrified of this game? One thousand percent. All right. Give me Austin P. No bet. Mac? I'm going to bet the Govs. The, I think the Go, the Govs played like shit the other night. I think it's a nice bounce back here. Uh, settle in here in this bracket. Just like Stetson, they see the one seeds out, lock in, get to the title game. North Alabama's off the fucking miracle win. Um, Hail they Mary. Good, three, huh? They were looking good early in that game. They did, they did but I, 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 like, I like taking the teams the next game after they played like shit the f- previous game but found a way to win. Give me the Govs, lock it up gonna have some chalk in the a sunday morning. oh join you i got the fucking future so i might as well burn in hell if i fucking uh <laughs> if i lose no you know pee. uh let's go give me the governors southern utah is getting six and a half at stephen f austin this is this is a normal game we're back to normal games for a second here um <laughs> we should talk about this though because the whack so right now in the WAC, we saw Grand Canyon uh, get clinch a, what a share of the championship, the regular season championship. But Tarleton's right on their ass, half game back. After that, it's a big drop off. UT Arlington's the three seed, but they only have a half game lead under over Seattle. Uh, and in this particular game, you have Southern Utah, who is, is you know they're 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 not having the greatest season, but they are sitting back there at uh, what second to last. And I think they have two games left. So I guess technically they could sneak up and, and get Utah tech spot. 
But on the other side of it is you have Stephen F. Austin that is tied with Cal Baptist and only a uh, a game behind Abilene Christian and Utah Valley. So seating at stake here. Stephen F. Austin's lay at six and a half. I'll I'll take the points in, in Southern Utah. What are you doing here? Same. Same. They've lost seven in a row, but they've played well. I mean, yeah. They've they've been competitive. Southern Utah for me. Uh, South Carolina State taking off taking on North Carolina Central. Once again, this is a normal game here. Central's laying six and a half. Man, I'll take Central, but no luck. Same. Yeah, I'll take Central because it's. Um, the culture of Lavelle Moton, but like you said, uh, South Carolina State under Emart's been really good this year. So uh, I'll take Lavelle Moton, but no bet. Morgan State's laying seven and a half against Coppin. Coppin's covering this rivalry. We game. should take Coppin. Yeah, Coppin. Um, Tennessee State taking on Western Illinois OVC tournament. Western Illinois laying two. I'm laying the two, but I hate how Tennessee State got the game, the playing game. You know, so it makes me a little nervous. Yeah. I have a future on 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 the Leathernecks, but I don't know. Give me the Leathernecks. What are you doing here? I'm on Tennessee State. Uh, like you said, I, I think it's an advantage playing the game the night before. Um, get acclimated with the arena. Give me a, give me Tennessee State here. Um, with the points. Delaware state is taking on Maryland Eastern shore. Delaware state's laying three and a half. This line stinks, but we should probably bet uh, Delaware state, right? I think we should, but I'm staying away. It reeks. Yeah. Ah, fuck it. I'll fly there. Delaware state minus three and a half. Let's go. Utah Valley's getting five and a half at Tarleton. Tarleton can clinch. Or you know, can cleanse a share of the, the regular season championship. I think Charlton's going to stick at the valley. I'll lay the five and a half. Mac, I'm gonna I'm gonna lock up Utah Valley. I I think the the whole Gillespie thing is a little bit of a distraction, in my opinion. Um, yeah, Charlton's folks. If, if folks don't know about this Gillespie, who they thought was going to retire and they were going to hire yeah. what's what's his name Jones. Who's the assistant? I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. Um, uh, who's done a great job this year? They yeah. they they thought this was the future, but no, they just re-signed uh, Gillespie for a couple of years. So that is a little tricky. Yeah, uh, the situation they they have there. Um, yeah, give me Valley. Give me Valley. Va- Valley's better than their record too, and they were hot and um, until the other night when uh, Arlington got them. Give me Valley. Lock it up against Charleston. I think they're going to win the game outright. On that line, Mag, locking up Valley. I'm still sticking with Tarleton. They're playing for something. Uh, St. Peter's is at Ryder. Ryder's laying one and a half. What could go wrong here? You got two red-hot New Jersey teams dueling it out. Ryder's won six straight. The Peacocks have won uh, five straight. Something's got to give at the old alumni gymnasium there. I am going to take the moving company. Me too. Moving company's yeah. rolling. Let's go. Give me the moving company minus one and a half. Don't feel strong about it though. Seattle is laying one and a half at Abilene Christian. I just I just touched on this. Uh the seating is very tricky here. Seattle is a game and a half, a half game back from UT Arlington. Abilene Christian, though, is just two games back from them, and I believe they have two games left. So it, it's a little tricky. Uh Seattle is laying one and a half. I'll take Seattle to win this game. What are you doing here? Same. I, I, I'm going to take Seattle as well. Um, they're playing for something, like you said. Cal Baptist is getting six and a half at UT Arlington. UT Arlington has been just winning fucking games lately. They won five straight. And all of a sudden, they're the three seed. Cal Baptist kind of sh- shitty down the stretch here. Uh, just, f- what, uh, four and eight on the road this year. Um, give me UT Arlington. They're fucking a machine right now. What are you doing here? 
I'm taking Cal Baptist and I'm locking it. Same same logic as Valley. I think this is the week where some of these teams that are red hot in the whack come back a little bit. Uh, let's go. Give me Cal Baptist. One of my Mac locking up the Lancers of Cal Baptist. Phoenix, do you have a play on this one? Yeah, this is a log battle. I'm on the Mavs. Here we go, baby. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the party, pal. We got a battle. Phoenix going with the Mavericks of Duke the Arlington. Start your football program. Uh, Mac riding with the likes of Cal Baptist. Let's fucking go. Uh, we have a bunch I, I of win to... streaks in this league, by the way. Tarleton's won 10 in a row. Arlington's won five. Abilene Christian's won six in a row. I hate to be Sean Green, but there's a huge free throw discrepancy in this matchup. Nope. And also, Arlington, number one three-point shooting team in the conference. They're hot right now. Uh, so I'm on the mask. There we go. Uh, Northern Kentucky, Wright State. So, Man. by the way, Colby... When you play a sound or a music for the next, your first five words, your voice is like really, really low. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I've just noticed just recently the last couple of times that it started off low. It's fading. It's fading as we go. Mm. This fucking shit. I'm going to throw this out the window. Um, Keep going. uh, (laughs) Look, so I have a future on right seat. I just built a case for them to win the Horizon, but I'm terrified of this matchup because Northern Kentucky's won, what, four of the last seven Horizon League championships? Yeah. Give me the points in the Norse. Wright State wins it by two. So give me the seven and a half. What are you doing here? I, we have to lock Northern Kentucky. Yes, yes, right. And I love Wright State. Uh, I think this game's going to come right down the wire. Northern <laughs> Kentucky, lock it up. Double lock on Northern Kentucky. Rob's still shitting on my shells. My shells are accurate. They're <laughs> fucking accurate. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nichols is getting three and a half points at Southeast Louisiana. Oh, boy. It's a good game. It's a low-key little fun little game here in the Southland. Uh, give me Sela minus three and a half. You could talk me into a lock. I would. I had Sheila as a fringe lock too. Should we? Yeah. Playing better, man. Lions minus the points against Nichols. Let's roll. They, this and, is, and, and they're uh, two games back in Nichols, so they got to have this one to have, give themselves uh, to be a top four seed. Mississippi Valley State's getting seventeen and a half. Points against Alcorn State. Give me the points. This is, a, this is a Mississippi battle here. It's a rivalry game. Give me the points. No bet. Yeah, yeah you won't be seeing me bet this game. Uh, <laughs> Mississippi. Uh, give me Valley. Let's go. <laughs> APBs at Jackson State. Two of my darlings this year. APBs catching eight and a half. It's a lot of points, but I, I think Jackson State's the side. I'm going to lay the eight and a half. What are you doing here? I agree with you. I agree with you here. Grambling is at Alabama A and M. Grambling's only laying two and a half. Why? Why? I Why? saw this. I was Why? Like, what the fuck? Give me Alabama A and M. No bet. I just, I just want to pull this up again. I just find this something reeks here. Something reeks so, here. So, Grambling does have a two-game lead, so they've clinched, right? Is that the angle? They've. They, because they have a two-game lead on Southern and Alcorn State and Texas Southern. There's two games left, so they might have the tiebreaker on them. I don't know. If they win this one, we should fade them on Saturday for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Um, mm. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, Alabama I'll... A&M might be a lock for me. <laughs> I'm, 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 not I'm not sure if you guys. Alabama is horrible. I'm not sure if you guys have different windows up and aren't looking at the chat, but Hasty brings up a good question here. Is Grambling going to rest guys? Uh, I don't know if it's so much rest guys, um, but they will go through the motions. 
Give me Alabama a No lock, though. We should do it. <laughs> I, they're so bad. I watch them. Really they are so yeah. bad. Uh, <laughs> I hate betting on games I can't even watch because it can't even access the network. <laughs> <laughs> Southern is getting one and a half at Alabama State. What did I just talk about? I said Southern's right there creeping along. We should lock this. Why is Alabama State favored? <laughs> That's why I'm I'm out. I'm out on this game. This line reeks. These fucking swack lines are crazy. Fucking out. The Alabamas yeah. are fucking with us right now. <laughs> uh, I'm taking Southern. No bet. Marshall is getting one and a half against Georgia State. They just played. This is a close game, if memory serves me correct, too, right? It was a three-point game on Friday yeah. night at Georgia State. Marshall State won, though. Win. Yeah, I think Marshall does win this one. Marshall I'm plus one Marshall. and a half. Woo! Marshall lock. I can't lock that. They're going to get right here. Moneyline Mag locking up Marshall. They're a good tourney team. Now you can talk me into locking this one because Colorado's horrible on the road. Oregon's laying two and a half. Lock. Quack. Quack, quack. Give me the Ducks minus two and a half. Double luck. Sorry, buffs. Um, This game's awesome. First place on the line. Rustin, Louisiana. Sam Houston State, who beat La Tech in the Bear Claw in Huntsville, Texas. Now they got to go to Rustin. The winner will get the one seed in the CUSA. Latex laying eight and a half. This is shot up a point since I did the show this, this afternoon. I think we should lay it. I think they're going to fuck them up tomorrow. I'm on Sam Houston, man. I I like Sam I'm, Houston. I'm locking Louisiana Tech. Louisiana Tech's going to drill them. They're going to drill them. Laying the eight and a half. Like I said, seven and a half is better, but jump in. You want to battle? Yeah. I, I, I like this Sam Houston team, man. They fucking they play hard. They're going to keep this thing close, have a chance to win it outright. Sam Houston, this fucking Louisiana Tech shit out of here. I'll say you're getting the best of the number. But let's go. Let's go. We got a battle. Dundee riding with the Bulldogs. Mac riding with the Bearcats. The Howard Bison are taking on Norfolk State. And this is a huge game. This is a huge game. This is Norfolk State has a one game lead on Howard and South Carolina State. <sighs> Norfolk State's fire at home, though. Norfolk State's laying four and a half. I think I'm still going to take Howard, though. Give me Howard in the four and a half. They've won four straight. They're hot right now. What are you doing here? Yeah, I, I was going to say Howard's a fringe lock. So check the picks page, everybody. See, Clark's on Norfolk there. Interesting. Um, Florida International is catching eight and a half against UTEP. <laughs> if you bet I'll this, it. good luck. <laughs> I'll lay it. If I use horrible on the road, I'll lay it with UTEP. No bet. I'll obviously. lay it. Yeah, I'll lay it too. So we got the Pac-12 going on where if Washington State wins this game and another outcome happens later in the night, they could be. We got the, the Apple Cup on the hardwood. Washington at Washington State. Wazoo's laying six and a half. Lay it. You could talk me into a lock here. You think they're going to draw them in the last meeting? I think they're going to win by eight. <laughs> Free throws at the end. I'm locking Washington. This is going to be a one possession game. One last time with these two. Washington's gonna keep this close. They got they got they got fucking dudes too. They're gonna get up for this one. Let's do that. Sunday riding with the coos. Let's go. Mac taking the Huskies of Washington. Milwaukee is taking on Green Bay. Horizon League action. Green Bay is a one and a half point favorite. Do we know the status of Noah Reynolds? Yes. According to his Instagram story, he said, see you Thursday. Give me Milwaukee plus one and a half. <laughs> even Sometimes if he you plays. come back and you try to do too much. Yeah, even if he plays, man. Let's go. Lock, lock up Milwaukee. 
Uh, I'm not locking this one, but you can ride on the Panthers here. Panthers. Panthers. They just beat it, they just beat it by 22. Panthers. Let's go. I got a lock here. Arizona is heading into Westwood. Lay a nine and a half. No, no, no. UCLA blew a 17 point lead. Yeah. UCLA is live in this game. Give me the Bruins, baby. Give me the Bruins plus nine and a half. Sprinkle a little bit on the money line. You with it? All right. You saw absolutely. Me. Absolutely. They've lost. How many have they lost in a row, too? This is a get up spot for UCLA and the Bruins. Um, Arizona, a little bit of a letdown here. Triple lock, Noah? I don't agree with the letdown because they're playing for the conference. But UCLA has uh, been a thorn in Arizona's side lately. Mick Cronin. Especially Mick Cronin against Tommy Lloyd. Yeah. So give me the Bruins. I'm with you guys. I'll take the point. Triple lock with the Bruins. Let's go back to Arch Madness. UIC is catching five and a half against Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois is actually the closest team mileage-wise to Arch Madness. I'll lay the five and a half. They're going to feel a little bit at home. I t- I'm taking the points. I think it's a one-possession game. Arch Madness, late window, maybe. <clears throat> UC Santa Barbara's at Long Beach State. Long Beach State's laying four and a half. Once again, this all matters. Long Beach is jockeying for a position. Let me just jump back to the Big West. I believe Long Beach is currently the four seed. They could get to the – they're battling with Hawaii, that spot, and they could catch Davis. Uh, huge game here going on. And then, it's a rivalry, I guess, right? Yeah, and Santa Barbara also in the mix too. To, Santa Barbara could potentially still get the five seed. Um, uh, fascinating game going on here. Um I think Long Beach is better than Santa Barbara this year. I'll lay the four and a half. I'm going to I'm going to take saying Monson uh, Monson was fired. Also told was told he was fired at the end of the year. Um, he should be in my opinion. I mean, look, you got to their t- team is more talented than their 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 records the past couple I'm years. I'm taking Barbara. I'm taking Barbara. <clears throat> uh Fullerton is at Riverside. Riverside's laying three and a half. I will bet Riverside here. Let's 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 lock up Riverside. Minus All right, the points. let's go. Let's go. Right let's up. go. Play the three and a half with with the Highlanders. UC Davis is at UC San Diego. It's a huge game. So UC San Diego's laying six and a half, but this is what I'm talking about. San Diego's a game back from Irvine. Davis is three games back from Irvine, but just two games back of the Titans and Long Beach State's potentially on their ass. So. Fun game here. I think UC San Diego is going to fuck with them, though. I will lay the six and a half. I took Davis in the points. No bet. Do we have a line on SIU, Edwardsville, and Moorhead State? I could not find this earlier. Moorhead's laying eight. I'll take the points. Moorhead wins by six. What did they do the first couple meetings? Uh, they lost at Edwardsville. They beat Edwardsville by 11. I think we have to take the points here. Yeah. Too big a number. Yeah. All right, folks, we got a couple more games left. But before we do that, I want to tell you the college basketball experience is brought to you by Manscaped. Top of the morning to you. This episode is brought to you by St. Patrick's uh, Shamrock Shavers Manscaped. This year, don't just chase rainbows. Make your... Make your own pot of gold, all right? And, and groom your little leprechaun with the leaders in below the kilt care. Say goodbye to your uh, clover forest with uh, Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 and let your confidence shine bright. And look, I can I can honestly tell you, ever since I used Manscaped, I have uh, I've found my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So what are you doing? Hop on over there. This thing's got three different three different, uh, you know, uh, edges. Uh, they're just fantastic. Three different blades. They got a foil blade. They're, they got the, the shit for the classic trim. Uh, you can it just, it, it's, it, it can go in the fucking water. You could be in the middle of the Pacific ocean shaving. I'm telling you, it, it's fantastic. They got led lights. Those things are fun. Even when you're by yourself, just playing those fucking things. Uh, just a lot of fun. 
Get on over. Get 20% off and free shipping with the promo code SGPN at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off free shipping with the promo code SGPN at Manscaped.com. We're also brought to you by Champs. Champs is hosting a free March Madness bracket contest for a chance to win $1,000. Plus, if you host your own uh, March Madness pool on Champs, you'll get an extra free entry into that $1,000 bracket contest. Uh, Tiebreakers are determined by who enters you know, first. So get on over there and register now. Head to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash champs. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash champs. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. Win bigger by betting smarter this NBA season with Hall of Fame Bets, a sports betting analytics platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Research every NBA and soccer bet with historical stats and data. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame Bets to craft more intelligent, data-driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching. Start winning with Hall of Fame Bets. All right. A couple games left. Cal, Stanford, they hate each other. Stanford's laying three and a half. No, 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 no. You know who this matters? You know, Jared Haas is fired. He's got to be. And they should have hired Mark Madsen. Uh, he's now at Cal. And he's got this one circled. Lock. Cal. Plus yeah. three and a half. Yep. Yep. Let's go. Ride that money line. Cal. Let's go. They're they're better. Yes. And they're getting points. Wrong team favored. Double lock. Arizona State's getting eight and a half at USC. <laughs> you could talk me into a lock on USC here. I was thinking the same thing too, man. They're rolling. They do, but they have Arizona on deck. That is true. Yeah, I'm I'm off the game. Yeah, and final game of the night: Utah fighting for their lives, laying six and a half in Corvallis. I think we should lock Utah. That's a pressure spot there, though. Tankle's fired, right? They're gonna fire, right? Yeah, but Oregon State's fucking a pain in everybody's ass at home. I'm going solo here. Give me Utah minus the points in Corvallis. Lock it up. Lock it up. What are you doing here? I'll take the beeves. No bet. All right. Top play of the day because we're done with all those. Man, it's a lot of fucking games. I know. Um, I, I'll be honest. Those Horizon ones stood out to me. And also, I like Texas State against Southern Miss. Like all those ones that, that we've seen them play. I think it was Cleveland State getting nine and a half at, at Youngstown. I feel really good about I feel really good about Lehigh yeah. and American. Like a, a lot of the tournament games, I feel fr- pretty fucking good about. If I had to decide one, Stetson, I like two. Um, mm. If I had to decide one, I would say I'll just continue riding Texas State. I think they're going to beat. I don't know, though. They look like shit the other night. Hang on. Hang on. I'm changing my fucking pick. It's American minus four and a half against Bucknell. <laughs> top, top play. Where are you going, Mac? Uh, top play. Let's go with balls. We won. UCLA, baby. Getting that many points. Mick Cronin has Tommy Lloyd's number. That'll be a one possession game. Let's go. Phoenix. Lehigh minus three and a half at Lafayette. I love that. In a rivalry game in conference tournament, you have the six seed laying points on the road against the three seed. The line's telling you what to do. There you go, folks. Give Noah Beanick a follow on Twitter at NoahB77 underscore, even if he is eating a fucking meal in the middle of the show. All right. Uh, Moneyline Max is on Twitter at Moneyline underscore Mac. I'm on Twitter at the Colby D. College Basketball Experience is on Twitter at TCE on SGPN. Check out the Sports Gambling Podcast. Check out the college, uh, the Big 12 College Experience. Obviously, a bunch of big-time games coming up soon. Uh, uh, what else? The FCS College Football Experience. The College Football Experience. The College Baseball Experience. Shit everywhere. Ryan and Rush Show. Scattering the board. All right? Uh, I don't know. I'm fucking talking for eight hours. I'm out. All right? And have a wonderful night. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow because we have a bunch of games. And uh, we're grateful for everyone in the chat. Uh, 555 people tuning in right now. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. That helps us so much, folks. If you can get to YouTube and subscribe, it really, really 
helps us. So uh, please do that. Also, hop on over to iTunes. Give us a five-star review. Uh, until next time, folks, this is the College Basketball Experience. You better start thinking about yours. And we out of here. It's got me thinking about the good shit the minute that I seen you grill again. It made me good trip. Good dog the mind back like dog for wine that man. I didn't get mad when you near me hit the can back. But the coming song was strong. Now my shit's coming along. You know the song. The truth is I'm pretty much on five again. It's eating up the real I'm alive again. Uh, and that's the attraction factor. Vancouver, Michigan with my rap disaster. Yeah. You know you want it how you want it. No need to trip, cause I got it, dog got it. It's all yours and the extras too. All the super music and the sex for hope. Uh, just get it straight, cause he caught me in a good mood. Let me demonstrate what this time of year could do. Yeah, sing it.